trying to get my hair fixed, but it's we're, it's fine. Hey guys. Hey guys. I'm gonna open my chat. Hey Teresa. I always do this weird thing when I have makeup on. I always I do this. <laughs> have you ever noticed? What, play with your hair? No, I like if I put makeup on I do this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like I gotta check it out closer. I gotta get that closer. <laughs> yep, that's makeup. I don't know why I do it. All right, Christy. Hey, Teresa. Yeah. Hey, Christy. Hey, Carol. Hey, Carol. How are you? Did you call the post office? What happened? I don't remember if I messaged you back or not. Or if you texted me back. Hey, Patty. Hey, Elizabeth. Hi, Patty. Hi, Elizabeth. My dog won't stop barking. Can you hear that? Yes. <laughs> hey, Quintia. Okay, I think they're done. It's all very suspicious. Oh my god. Well, at least they have them and they're mailing them to you. My goodness. Hey, Quintia! She just snuck right through there. I'll never, for I'll never forget. Was it Lucid who called Quintia Quin Quinoa? <laughs> Or was that you? No, it wasn't me. That's funny though. <laughs> it was like my favorite memory. <laughs> oh jeez. I just I love it so much. <laughs> well I love quinoa. It's delicious. <laughs> yes. I got a big batch of stones in today, so I'm gonna slowly be showing those at the next couple of weeks. Um, you know, that way I just always have something new to show you and I'm not doing it all at once. It's my new thing. And then I do have a bunch of brooches and then hard goods as normal. And I do have clothes hanging up over there if I get to that. Um, but I'm not going to show, hey, Mari, I'm not going to show the clothes until I'm done showing what is like in front of me, if that makes sense. Hi, and then Mari. I have some towers from a canceled order that um, I'll probably show too because my I don't have space over there for the towers. And then Carol, because I like messed up and I sent your stuff to your old address, um, I'm gonna give you uh, free shipping on your next on your next two packages if you want it. That's sweet. Oh, thanks, Tracy. Yeah, I thought I deleted the other one. So what? When I when that happened, I just completely de deleted her off there and then just put her in with her new address, so it won't happen again. <sighs> oh my goodness. So I think that is it for, of course, Carol. It's not your fault I sent it to the wrong place. <laughs> it was definitely on me. Hey, Crystal. So I think that's like the housekeeping stuff. Uh, if you haven't hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs up. And. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns for me or Gina, I will give you the next uh, minute or so to ask, and then we can address it. Otherwise, just send us an email. If you ever have questions, um, just email, and then, you know, give us 24 to 48 hours to get back, because sometimes we do get busy, or we miss it, um, or it happens to be our day off, and so we don't see your email. And then, if it's been, like, 24 to 48 hours, and I haven't addressed it, email me again. Just spam me. You can spam me as much as you want. Other people, not so much. But me, I don't care. <laughs> hey, Crystal and Pat. Hey, Pat. Carol, did you recently move, or is this, like, an old no. dog? 
Okay. Yeah. Hey, Kara. Kara, don't forget to send the remainder of your payment so I can get that box out to you. Um, pretty please. And Carol, you want to know something funny? So when you posted on um Facebook about, I think Christy's in the back, and I'm definitely not trying to ignore her. Sorry, Christy. <laughs> Let me just ignore you. <laughs> no, so Carol, you posted on Facebook because you were sharing your auction thing, but I didn't know you were sharing an auction. I just saw like dollar clothes or whatever, and I thought you did another buy it now. So I promoted it on my channel, and I was like, but wait, you guys can't go until, you know, I go. Like, I'm going to go get some stuff, and then you guys can go. And then I realized when I went to look for it that it wasn't up. That I was like, well, what did I see? Maybe she posted it and then deleted it. And then I realized that it was, no, you you had an auction the other day. Um, so my bad. Tried to shout you out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got that brain. Okay. So I think that's it. Nobody asked any questions. So if you do have questions, email me, boo. Boo-boos. And well, let's switch this layout and get going. We ready? Yes. Cool beans. So the only thing I have in front of me that I can tell you, um, hey, Julie, the price of, or maybe I should do those. So I have like these wood plates with these old, um, thank you, Kara, with these old fashioned cars that are like made out of metal. I have those. So maybe I'll do those for like my third item. Okay. Let's see. So I got this. I bought a lot of brooches from Jenny and Patsy. And I literally bought it just so I could have these two. <laughs> this cute little mouse and the cat oh. from freaking Lady of the Tramp. <laughs> adorable. So I bought all these other brooches. So I'm going to do a dollar start choice. And I'll just do a couple. Uh, this can, mm -hmm. all right, this will be number one. It is a gold tone rabbit. Thank you, Pat. Awesome, Julie. So that's choice number one. And then choice number two, we'll do this guy. It kind of looks like an animal, but like a weird animal. Maybe it'll focus. It really wants to focus on me. <laughs> so that'll be option number two. And again, like I said, it's just a dollar start choice. Number three will be the light beer. And these are all pins so far. Number four is a little purple rose with an angel. And then I don't want to do too many. There's some more angels in here, but we'll do this big brooch. And then I'll do number five here if I can. Maybe. There we go. And this is number five. We got Mari in at one. Does anybody want to come in at two for choice? And this one's a brooch. And those are your options. I don't know if it's a turkey. <laughs> Maybe. It could be. It's weird because, like, it reminds me of a peacock, but it's not, like, straight up a peacock, you know? Hey, Lindsay. Hi. Yes, and that last one is a wishbone. All right. Christy, are you here or did you have to go? Okay. I'm going to start calling it. We're going once. Going twice. Mari, you can't have the mouse. <laughs> the mouse is mine. 
<laughs> All right, I'm going to show you your options again real quick. So this is number one. Number two. Hey, Lisa. Number three. Number four. And number five. It's a dollar start choice on the pins and brooches. Samari, so let me know if you're still in for a dollar and I'll finish counting it down. Otherwise, just say outer pass. Oh, and then I have these moons. I'll have to order more because I'm out. But I have these stone moons, and they come in different colors. This is just a clear quartz one. They are $25. If you want one, I'm ordering some more tonight, so just let me know, okay? They are really cool, and they feel like craters in them and stuff like that. They're, like, really, really cool when you light them up. All right, so Mari's going to pass, so I'm going to say it's a full pass for the brooches. If anyone wants those, just let me know then. I will do these guys. This is a $15 start choice, and it's a choice between two. Here is the first one. It's all metal. This is ice. <laughs> And then the back hangs up. So this is option one. And it's fairly good size. So that's the first one. And then here is the second one. It's just some crazy cool art. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't hold them both. Okay, I got it. So number one or number two. And they are 15 bucks if there's any interest. Otherwise, we can pass them. I can show them later. Doesn't matter. They're pretty cool though. Oh, Julie, did you want either one of those Murano pieces? Before I forget, I don't want to forget. I'll show these real quick and then we're going to pass it on to Gina. Whoops. All right, so just put the number in um, if you want one of these and I'll tell you the price. So, number one is Amethyst and it is $10. Number two is ten dollars and it's like a tan and brown striped tower. It's number two. Number three is twelve dollars and it is pink tourmaline. Number four is rose quartz and it's twelve. Okay, Julie, no worries. Number five is striped fluorite and it's 10. And then number six is $8 and it's just a little lab. It's got some flash, but not like a ton. So it's got some blue flash right here. Which is why it's only eight bucks. It doesn't have a ton of flash, but it does still have some on there. All right, Pat, I got you for number three. And Quintia, I got you for number five. Yep, so three. Pat. And here's Quintia. 
All right. Thank you, ladies. So one, two, four, and six are available if you want to let me know. And Gina Nader. Hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome back, Christy. <laughs> All right, I've got some uh, vintage like 80s and 90s earrings, and it's going to be a dollar start choice. I'm going to show six pairs for right now. This is number one, and they're all new on card. Number one, posts. Hey, Karen. Hey, Jane. Hey, Karen. Hi, Jane. This is number two, funky green and white stripes. Surgical Steel says so that one. Number three are these cool yellow ones. And nothing else, those would be great for a costume. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 80s and 90s fashion is really popular right now. And then here's number four. They have a little bit of denting in the center. But they are fun. Look like like uh, nail polish swirls, kind of. Oh, they're pretty. Number five are the stripe ones. Hypoallergenic, these ones say. And number six are like these minty blue ones. Kind of shimmery. So yeah, any interest? They're a dollar start. Again, number one, pink and yellow. They're all posts. Number two, green and white stripes. Number three, yellow. Number four, shimmery swirly. Number five, blue and gray. Number six, minty blue. The touch of green. All right, I'm going to show another six pairs. Dollar start, your choice. Oh. Number one are these gunmetal color posts. New on card. They're like big dangles. Number two are these. Oh, it's not, is it lever back? I forget the name of that one. You can see a surgical seal post. That's number two. Number three are these funky green ones. These are a personal favorite. Very cool. They're in Korea. Might be from the 80s. Number four is this trio. Are these also a dollar start? Yep. Dollar start choice. Yep. This is number four. You get a trio of them, some stripies and some faux pearls. Number five are these hypoallergenic, made in Hong Kong, kind of mother of pearl round ones. And the sixth one are these baby blue ones. Kind of have a slight shimmer to them for the finish. Made in the USA. So if anyone's interested in any of those earrings for a dollar, just let me know. How many are we doing, Miranda? Three. Okay. Oh, Patty. Thank you, Patty. I think these ones are really cool. Reminds me of like a like a car. 
with that design on the back. I forget. Was it Corvettes that had that, that like blind looking design? It's very 80s. It makes me also think of those sunglasses that had those shades. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, if there's another interest, we can just call it to Patty. Patty, what Patty, number one, number two, three of the greens, four is the trio, five are the mother of pearl collar ones, and number six are the baby blue ones. Hey, Carol, I'm just showing a bunch of like 80s and 90s earrings for a dollar. I can't get this ink to come out. That's so annoying. A cat's tail caught in the door. I don't know, little girl. Mm. All right. Patty wants one, three, four, and six. I gotcha. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Patty. If anyone else is interested in any of these, the first set I showed too for a dollar, just let me know. Get some funky stripes. All right, and then my third item will be, uh, I got this new Moss Agate Tower in. This guy is a $30 start. It's a beautiful blue moss agate. Um, it, the milky part is very blue, like a you know, like blue tone. Kind of looks like blue lace or blue agate, rather. It looks very celestial. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna try to show it with my not so great lighting. Even though I yeah, have I see it. The stars. I see the stars. <laughs> <laughs> It's got very milky areas in there that are op that more that are more opaque, but they're like a beautiful blue color. God, if it was green, we'd just call it Aurora Borealis because it's <laughs> kind of is that glowed. what it looks like? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it's got these little dots all over it too. It's kind of cool. Really That's cool. what I was thinking, celestial. Because the dots, I mean, the constellations. <laughs> Got a nice mossy tip there. And it is bigger. Like, this is what it looks like in comparison to, say, here's a $14 tower I have. It's a good size difference there. It's a nice, good size tower. Yes, kitties are so touchy about those tails. <laughs> they can't balance their crap if they don't have a good tail. <laughs> that was so rough and ugly. And I hate it. Really pretty Moss Agate Tower. So if anyone's interested, let me know. And that was my three. I will be back because the puppies are alive. Okay. <laughs> okay. <Patty. laughs> I'm definitely not ready, but we're gonna, I'm, we're, this is gonna be fine. <laughs> so I already showed some brooches. But you guys weren't super feeling that, so I'll wait a minute before I show any more. I have this whole set of wood fruit plus the basket. 
This is a $28 start, so you're going to get the basket and all the fruit that's in here. And these are wood. So, we've got, and they're these big pieces. <laughs> these, excuse me, are bananas. So, we got a thing of bananas. We have whatever this is. We have an apple. Easiest to identify. Um, I believe that this is a pear. I don't know what this is. This kind of looks like a yam or maybe a potato. Maybe a little plum. And I think this is an onion. <laughs> So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of wood, fruits, and or vegetables, and a basket. So nine pieces total for a $28 starch. You know, when you can't have the whole glass collection, get wood. You could paint them. If you wanted, or you could just keep them wood. Wood is in. Is wood mid century modern? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. It's really cool, though. So I got that whole set here. Only 28 bucks. The onion is a pomegranate. I get it. I get it. I get it. Teresa said, yes, yes, they are mid-century modern. The more you know, with the little rainbow thing. I wish I could just, like, have, like, memes come out of my hands. That's really cool. <laughs> All right, now we're going to show a new stone, which, you know, I'm not set up for, but it's fine. Maybe I'll just do these pipes. All right, I've got two stone pipes, and they are... Um, I'll do 28 They're $28 and then it's just a choice between two. I have a citrine. You're okay. Yes, they are wood. Hey, Mom. So I have the citrine pipe. How much are the pipe? They are 28 And then I have a smoky quartz. I had no idea what kind of stone people would want to smoke out of, so. Some have, like, some, like, really, like, amethyst and stuff like that. Some really like the color more than anything, you know. Yeah, and it has, like, a, you know, like, a netting into it already. How much are they? 28. Okay, they're cool. Mom, you want the smoky quartz one? <laughs> Hi, LW. He said, just give me the smoky quartz. All right. <laughs> They're cool. I didn't know how much interest there would be, so I just didn't. I didn't get very many. If there's like a specific stone people want, but. Oh, there is probably a lot of interest because so many states now have it legalized if you have a pot part. So, yeah. Okay, just because you see a pipe doesn't automatically people are going to be smoking weed out of it. A yeah, lot of I, people smoke tobacco out of pipes. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, in my neck of the woods, it would be pot. Some people smoke sage and banana peels, too. Who's out? Okay, listen. Who's out here smoking a banana peel? I, I know people. And sage. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. Just saying. I want be smoking sage because that would just be more harsh than weed. Dude, Carol, I think finding a blue gold stone one would be so hard. Like, so hard. All right. So we've got the smoky quartz one is gone. So we have the citrine one if anyone wants it. Let me know. 
Even Mumsy mm -hmm. says sweet for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dude, Patty, I don't know where you found those. I can't. The, the place I go, they don't have them. It's a, it's a negative from them. Oh, I found my pen! Yay! Sorry. I was, I was looking for it. I thought it was gone forever. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is... I don't think I can do the big ocean Jasper Tower yet. Let's do a couple Crackle Quartz Towers and then we'll... No. 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 I'm kidding. We're going to do the Smelting Towers. I'm going to show them to you and number them and then I'll tell you how much they are because I don't have anything priced yet. These are smelting towers. This is number one. Orange and red. Number one. <laughs> How much? Put it in my lap, I guess. I don't know yet. Oh, okay. This one's number two. Oh, dude, that is so Dexter. Oh, my gosh. It's cool, right? This is my uh -huh. favorite part right there. That is this like total blood splatter. I'm sorry. It reminds me of that. That's what my husband said. And, a pretty <laughs> <laughs> and then this one is number three. And these are called smelting stones. Let me see. How much are you? Oh yeah, I forgot I got pre night. Okay, anyways. Uh, shark teeth. Okay. These are $16 a piece. So they're $16 towers. Number one fell on the floor, I have to grab it. So we've got two and one here, or two and three, and I got to grab number one because it fell down. So there's $16 if anyone's interested. <sighs> it's on the ground. It fell on my blanket, though, so, like, it didn't break. Blessings in disguise. Oh, it fell right next to my ink. And here was Did you, Did you put some more color in your hair, like the washout stuff? Mm -mm. Nope, I'm just waiting for it to go away. It's still a little bit lighter mermaid on the one side, you know? Yeah, it's super blue. It's fine. All right, Quincy, you're going to take the middle one, this one. I got you. Anyone for number one or number three? Number two is gone, and it went to Quintia. When I wear my hair down, it like gets stuck in my armpits and then I pull my hair out. Does that happen to you guys? So it's just, they call it smelting. <laughs> uh, red smelting. So here's number one again. And number three. Red's pretty. Yeah, they're all super mixed. Hello, my fairy. So one and three is left if anyone wants it. Just tell me in the chitty chat here. And then I've got the $28 Citrine pipe. If anyone wants that. good. Okay. And Patty's going to take number three. And my mom wants number one. Okay. Okay, well, hang hang on a second. <laughs> so, two, three. Ow. 
Quincy got the 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 first. She claimed the first one, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. Thank you, guys. And there's Gina. All right. I got three makeup items to show. Um, the first one is gonna be. These are these are all new in box. Never swatched. Never used. Nothing. They're from Boxy Charm. Um, this is a highlighter palette. And this retails for $18, and I'm going to start it at $5. I got you, Quintia. Sorry, girl. I just scrolled up and saw. <laughs> I was pretty sure it was you. This is a $5 start. The brand is The Cream Shop. Again, it retails for $18 new. And it's three different highlighters. And yes, one is blue. It's called Halo Lovely Omega. That's what it looks like. It's the first time I'm opening it. But you get three highlighter shades. And there's like a dent on the white one, but I swear I didn't touch it. That's how it came. Teresa's in a five. Thanks, Teresa. The blue one could be fun. So yeah, if you're not familiar with what highlighter does, you can put it on the high points of your face, like right here on your top of your cheekbones. You oh, you're talking about makeup highlighter. I thought about, dude, I thought you were really talking about like like highlighters. No, it's, it's a highlighter. I, I, I was like, she's got a pack of highlighters? That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Like if you don't know how to use a highlighter, you, it, it, like, you put it on your face. Yeah, it's for your for your face, or you can put it on your body, whatever you want. You could even use that blue as an eyeshadow. I like it. It's what makes uh, it's what makes me look glowing. You why my nose looks so bright and shiny. <laughs> I use a lot of highlighter. I'm an example of over highlation. Because that's definitely a word for reals. Hey, Jonathan. War paint, he says. <laughs> Teresa, nice. Dude, Roseberry, when we meet up, can I put makeup on you? Can I make you over? Please say yes. <laughs> Carol's got that natural highlight going on. <laughs> yes. <Wet and juice. laughs> All right. Well, if there's no other interest, we can call this to Teresa for five bucks. Sold. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought you meant right now. <laughs> like out loud. I'll wait for Christy. <laughs> I, my hands are full. I'll call it in this. Hang on. Oh, oh, Christy's. Okay, I can call it. I didn't know she left. She had to take care of the dogs. No one wants. I'm trying to take care of my face because I'm like behind on everything. Well, hello? That was weird. Oh, Teresa. Thank you, Teresa. All right. My next makeup item is this lip gloss. And oh, I'm going to type it in. It's by the brand Be a Bombshell. Gloss. And it says the color is called Coco Delights. And we're going to start fun. at three bucks. And again, brand new. Um, retails for $14. Called Be a Bombshell Lip Gloss. Coco Delight. So I'm guessing it might have a brown hue to it. I didn't, I didn't open it. Let's see. I'm not going to take the stick out or anything, but we can look at the... Uh, Oh, oh, here we are. Oh, that's pretty. That's definitely a brown lip gloss. Yeah, it has some shimmer in it and yellow undertones in there. It's oh. definitely warm toned. Hey, Maury. Oh, Maury. Okay, Maury came in first. <laughs> what <Lindsay. laughs> Um. Yep, Maury's first. Thanks, right. Maury. Uh, 
Again, these are brand new, never, never used. They're from my boxy charms. So yeah, that's like a brown shimmery lip gloss. I don't know how opaque it's going to be on the lips. I'm guessing not too if it's a lip gloss. Um, hey, Fairy, are you here still? Make a comment real quick so I can mod you and Mori. You guys are my backup mods. Mm. Oh, my right. God. Right. If, if Michelle P comes in, I need to mod her, too. Oh, yeah. All right, calling it to Mori for three. There she is. Sold to Mori. Thank you, Mori. Cool beans. All right. And I have one more makeup item. It's always good to have extra helpers, you know what I'm saying? When things go sideways or like a thousand freaking trolls come in. I need troll squashers. <laughs> this is in the color Champagne Rich. Are you showing on another lip gloss? Oh, I'm showing a Body Glow Illuminator next. This thing retails for $39. And I'm going to start it at 12 This is not opened at all. It's completely sealed. So I don't know what the bottle looks like, but it is sealed. It is by Eloise. And it's called Get Gleaming Body Glow Illuminator. So I looked on the website and you basically shake it, shake well, and then you can apply it to any areas of your face or body, like your cheekbones, shoulders, neckline, collarbones, legs, and arms for a gleaming glow. And you can even use our unique brush brushes to seamlessly buff the highlighter onto your face. So I'm not sure. Okay, basically you blend the formula quickly and build it up for more coverage. Apply two to three pumps to cover a larger area. So it looks like it's a pump bottle. And then you just apply it like a highlighter. Thank you, Maury. Get that all over glow. Again, this retails for $39. And they had three different shades on their website. And this was sold out on their website. It's called Champagne Rich. That's the shade. Great for summertime. For getting like a shimmery, bronzy thing going on on your body or your face. Let's see if I can show you the color. Okay, so here's what it looks like. So when you open the box, it's going to look like a pump bottle like that. And then... Again, Champagne Rich was sold out, but it looks like it is like the lightest of them. And possibly cool toned. Hard to tell from that picture, but yep. So yeah. Oh, there's a picture of Champagne Glow. Champagne. Ah! Yeah. So that's it compared to like the other ones. Like that's darker. That's not it. That's it there. Oh. It's not that one. That one's more gold. That one's more brown. And it's that one right there. It's like more sh like color champagne. All right. There's no interest. I will set this aside. If anyone's interested for 12, just let me know. And that was my three. <laughs> Girl. I'm not ready yet, but, but yeah, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's This will be fine. Do you guys want to see brooches yet, or are we still pa pa pass for now? Stay. Thank you. All right. This. Oh my gosh. Bro. Hi, Joyce. Hey, Joyce. All right, I got some little. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> These are little coin purses and little bags. It is a set. Um, so I'll just sell it as a set. And if you don't want it as a set and you want it individually, then I can. So they hi, look like know. this. It is a, oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> what is the set? <laughs> it's like a pouches that like fit into each other. Like the smallest one is like a coin purse and like the biggest one you could put like brushes in or something. Um, so it's, it's $12 for the set. This is the biggest one. And then we've got this one that goes in next. And it's a set of four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. The next smallest. <laughs> and here's the baby one. And they all just fit in there perfectly, which makes it nice for storage or anything like that. And all the zippers work just fine. Welcome back, Christy. Hey, Rise Up. Hey, Anna. Oh, no, the yawn has started. Hey, Sandy. It took a bit to get the dog in, and then when I was trying to get everyone in, the first one went back out again. It's a it's a twelve dollar start for those guys. I have this freaking TikTok song stuck in my head. It's I just what is it? Oh no, I don't know what it is. I what? I just want to love myself. Don't want to be someone else. I just want to love myself and feel good. <laughs> but it's like weird. <laughs> Anyways, it's playing over and over and over and over in my brain. So this is $12. If anyone wants it, let me know pretty please. And we will go next. Ah, I don't break. Oh, a pen. This is a glass candle lamp. Candle not included. You don't get the candle. This is an $8 start. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to get it out of that box for you so we can take a closer sneaky peeky at it. Oh, just kidding. You, you get a candle. This candle looks really weird. <laughs> it's a little rough. Oh, is this green? Oh, I did not check to see if this was uranium glass. How much was your start? Uh, eight dollars. It's all wrapped up in bubble wrap. Oh, this it's just kind of green. Maybe it's fine. I don't think it blows. So here's the lantern, little candle holder lantern thing. And then it has a, a, a handle as well. Let me just stick that sucker in there. And then this one comes, it came with a little baby candle. That would be really good for um, an office. Or just <laughs> going outside. Just yeah. Candle. The candle that they put in here with it doesn't really fit. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh no. Through my house. <laughs> Eight dollars. Carol's not reading the chat. She's fired. It's cool. It's got like it's like textured, so I don't know if someone tried to paint it or whatever. It almost looks like one of those uh, rice paper lanterns, but but it's not made of that. It's made of like glass or something. Mm -hmm.
Never leave a burning candle unattended. Never add anything to the burning candle. Do not set the burning candle on any flammable surface or products. Keep out of reach of children. Never place the candle holder with burning candle near combustible item. <laughs> Carol says, we take six. <laughs> You're busting my balls, Carol. But yes. You can bust my balls any day. Hey, Michelle P. Don't move. Did you guys make it move? You made it move. Oh, my gosh. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Now you may move the chat. Thank you. And you can have that weird little candle that was in there. Thank you, Carol. I think a tea light candle would be more fitting for that person. You did like a big tea light candle. It's actually, it's quite large. Yeah, that was like definitely a big color. <laughs> and then this was 12 and it's a set of four if anybody wants that guy. And then why don't we end it? with this lady so she was 20 now she's 15 and that is the lowest i can go on her is she a figure or is she a bottle she's a she's a bottle her head opens okay and then she is japan as well so i can do 15 on her but only for today This thing is weird. It's a giant salt and pepper shaker. Salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> There's little holes up there. And then a little. <laughs> it's weird, anyways. In the. Oh my God, that's a cute kangaroo. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I will put stuff that's sold right here. Oh, okay, goodbye. It's fine. <sighs> it, it, the it didn't have a big crash. It'll be okay. <laughs> I dropped my pins. <laughs> What's a yaoi? Yow! I feel like that's what it sounds like. Am I close? <laughs> All right, I get some cookbooks. They're gonna be a dollar start choice. They're a little dusty from being on my shelf for years. I'm gonna show these three first. So uh, we got 30 low fat meals in 30 minutes, 100 fast and fabulous recipes. It is like a paperback. And no pictures. But they're supposedly quick meals that you can cook within 30 minutes. Black eyed peas, old fashioned spaghetti supper, green beans with tomatoes and thyme. That's number one. Number two is called Tasting the Wine Country. Recipes from Romantic Inns and Resorts. Music by the Mike Marshall Quintet. I'm not sure how that works for a book, but okay. Menus and music. This has got a lot of pictures. Here's the back. Great food, wine, and music for perfect getaways at home. Oh, it came with a compact disc. Oh, well, that is not included. Never had it. Tells you like some history of wine, some recipes with wine, pictures, here's an inn. Pictures of menus, roasted squash, soup, another inn, some more recipes, Gravlax. The Erie Resort in British Columbia, another inn. 
That's number two. And then number three is called Fish on the Grill. More than 70 elegant, easy, and delectable recipes. Again, these are all paperbacks. Oh, it's got like one couple pictures in the center. That's it, but it's mostly just recipes. Fish facts. Recipes. It's like a recipe on every page. Halibut, chapatas, lobster, mackerel, mahi mahi. Oh no. Pike. Let's hear for the cookbooks. Who's coming in at a dollar? <laughs> I guess no one wants cookbooks. <laughs> Hey, the, the fish cookbook could be like a gag gift, you know, give it to someone you know hates fish. Just give it to them just because. You hate fish? Here's a book on how to grill them properly, you savage. I said gag. <laughs> All that makes me think of is the freaking WAP song where she's like, I want to gag. I want to choke. <laughs> Hey, Lana! I didn't see you in here. Hey, Lana. Hey, Lana, here. Bravo, Lana. Hey, Lana again. All right. No one wants those for a dollar. I'm just going to move on to some more cookbooks that no one probably wants. <laughs> that? These wow. are all hard cover. These are a dollar. Just dollar buy it now. Just dollar buy it now. <laughs> Consistent. <laughs> we got the raw, uncook book. But raw foods, oh. falafel patties. Hey, falafel, quinoa, quinoa, quinoa. I don't even know if you like quinoa. <laughs> she probably loves. She's like no. pesto pasta, fettuccine alfredo. Oh, fettuccine. Not made with pasta. <laughs> Nutty Dreams, Raw Tort, Strawberry Romanoff, Mango Are Cocktail. Are you sure it's pronounced Romanoff? Yeah. Oh. Did I, I say Romanoff? Yeah, Rom like Romanoff, like the Russian family, the Romanoff. <laughs> Is it Romanoff? No? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, well, that, that's number one. It's a nice hardcover book about raw food and raw diets. Number two is... Well, I'll take that one. Give me the, the raw food one. <laughs> okay. I'm sure. Well, thank you. Talk about the Russian family, and I'm in. <laughs> Uh-oh, she's gone with the accent again. All right, number two is Martin Yan's Feast. Um... The best of Yan can cook. Uh, just a whole bunch of coconut flavored chicken soup, seafood medley, and chili broth. S sounds like it's more Asian, Southeast Asian sweet potato salad, Thai style rice noodles, Shanghai chow mein, green onion cakes. We got pretty pictures in there too, next to some of the recipes. Four color vegetable fan. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't get past the coconut. The coconut chicken soup. <laughs> that sounds good. Ew! I, I love, love the coconut, but that's num nums. I know a couple people that would love that book, but I would love a Mexican cookbook. For sure. Baked clams, Mexican. So yeah, this is number two. And then number All right. three. Carolyn so, wants the feast book. She wants the feast on your soul and your book. She said green green onion cakes. Thank you, Carolyn. Sold to you. All right, number three is healthy home style cooking. Family favorites you'll make again and again. 200 all new recipe makeovers. Look at that, making over recipes that I'm sure were perfectly good. <laughs> they ruined them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll be bored. Cheesy, yeah. shredded potatoes and ham. You have to change your way of eating it's them. 
Baked egg can't grow along. <laughs> cheesy potato, cheesy potatoes and ham. Now with more freaking ham than ever. <laughs> White bean pita salad. Quick couscous. Upside down German chocolate snack cake. Strawberry cheesecake. Ooh. That's oh. number number three, and then the last one is called low fat living. Turn off the fat makers. Turn on the fat burners for longevity, energy. Weight loss, freedom from disease. Oh, that's claiming a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Vanishing muscle tone. Well, they got a section on that. Oh, God. You can't look well. Get I'm stressed. This is funny. You all, we all need kind of these cookbooks. Lunch launchers. <laughs> Putting second wind in your sails. Slump evasion. You know what I do? I just drink the naked green machine juice and like I'm good. <laughs> we have some some daily diet suggestions, I believe. Here, Carolyn wants the number three one too. <laughs> oh my gosh, proud of Are you hurting for a heart attack? A pound of bacon, what? I feel like a pound of bacon really actually isn't that much. Was that like a package? <laughs> Thumbs down on that, Gina. Sold to you. Thank you, Carolyn. And then this was the last one if anyone oh, wants this one. And Rise Up said, I said a dollar on Chinese. Oh, no. Ignoring me. I never saw it either. I, I do. Did for Carolyn? I don't see it at all. I see it now. We're not ignoring you. I didn't see it. I see one dollar on Carolyn, but one on Facebook, and I don't see anything above that. Rise up. These are your comments in succession. The history of wine. Grapes and feet. Feel awful, patties. Yum. <laughs> hang on, hang on. And then I got, I said a dollar on Chinese. Ignoring me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Mike. I don't see your comment at all. I don't see you where you claimed it at all. I'm sorry. Hey, Maria. Carolyn said number three was homestyle recipes, right? Yes. Yep, yeah, that was that one. So I only see Carolyn's comment for the feast one. I'm sorry, Mike. I don't even see it. Carol doesn't either. Maybe you forgot to hit enter. My mama said I look absolutely gorgeous tonight. Thank you, mom. Okay, okay, well, Carol, Carol is the only one I see for this one. So, you know. Yeah, actually. You have to go by that, right? All right, and it's a buy it now. Yeah. It's there. <laughs> Refresh. If you refresh and it's still there, then we are in parallel universes, my friend. Photograph that shit. Send it in. Oh, Elizabeth said what I said. Except for she was... Mine was... I was more sassy. Hey, Denise! It might be because I just took everyone's wrenches away. So, like a weird, like, youtube glitch, you know? It is refreshed from like top to live. Sometimes that rearranges things, and I don't see it. YouTube is just hating again. Blame YouTube. Hi, Denise. Hi, Maria. Well, Mike, she's offering it to you. Carolyn's offering it to you if you wanted it. That's nice of you, Carolyn. Just let me know who wants it. Thank you. So I took really long on those, so I can just have that be my three. <laughs> Even though it was two. It's all good. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's okay. That's okay. No, that took a while. Okay, Mike, you can't be out that fast. He quits. Don't quit. <laughs> I didn't know Rise Up's name was Mike. <laughs> that's, okay, everyone that. keeps calling him Mike, so eventually I'll know it. I'll get it on eBay. Isn't eBay more expensive? I still have these ones available for a dollar if anyone wants these. Yeah, go go through those again while I'm finishing up getting ready. 
Okay, so these are the ones I haven't been claimed that I showed last. Low fat living and has a lot of other information in there besides recipes. Low fat meals, 30 low fat meals in 30 minutes. Carolyn said, give it to him, please. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to I'm going to say that you you have it, Mike. Carolyn gave it to you. That's the way we do it. This is how you do it. Thank you guys. And then wine country left, nice paperback. And then the fish on the grill. Paperback. So those are a dollar if anyone's interested. You might as well give me the fish one too. Andy really likes fish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sold to you. Thank you. He really is likes healthier it. than some of the other meat. Yeah. Uh, you can send me pictures of the other ones and I'll show him. And if he wants them, then we'll get them. Okay. I just don't want to get them without him being like. You know, whatever. Anyways. <laughs> I have so many. Thank I you. Have so many recipes in my Pinterest. Not funny. Yeah. All right. First thing is a choice between two items. It is a five dollar start. Both items are very different. So it's gonna be. Oh. Just kidding. No. No, it's fine. It's a five dollar start. First item is this five dollar start choice. And it is like a singular salt and pepper shaker. And then he like has, a, you you know, you could put like another thing here. Yeah, if you could find a little, like a small round basket or something to put in there that's a salt and pepper shaker, then you would have a complete thing. He's cute. We'll just do a buy it now. He's five bucks because this one's six dollars. So scratch what I said. He's five bucks. This one's six. And this is a blue, purple, iridescent base. It's an odd shape. You could put stones in it and then, like, have it hold a sphere or something if you wanted. Gina. What? Oh, yes. Yeah. You know, like, like that. Pretty neat. You could fill it with all your chips. So what would you call that? It's just, just like a weird vase. Just, just an abnormally shaped glass vase. And it's like it's a it's blue and purple and like iridescent. It's really cool. So I've got those two things. Then my next thing is eight dollars and it is a purple glass flower pot vase thing. And then this one is that it's like textured. It's like the this the the applied um color whatever that's called it is applied color this one is eight dollars it's a fairly good size this would be a cute cup but it would like I think it'd be hard to like drink out of, you know. It would a definitely little... be a dribble glass, definitely. And it's like glossy on the on the inside, and then like matte on the outside. And then my third item, if you're not interested in any of those, is this guy. He is a twelve dollars start, and he is a carnival glass bowl. And he's got lots of colors. Lots of textures. Like, this is all textured out here as well. Spiky. He is beautiful. So, those are the... My my choices here, if anyone wants them. 
I'm going to get some brooches and some stones lined up for my next round. And here's Gina back with more cookbooks. That was quick. I can get more cookbooks. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> okay, I got some really cute carvings in. <laughs> well, I got two new carvings in today, but we'll start with this panda bear. It's a black obsidian panda bear that's polished and not polished. How cute is that? Oh. And this guy is a $25 start. I love him. You were showing, you showed him to us like what earlier or something? Yeah. Or last night? Yeah, I earlier. Think. Was it? Yeah, it was okay. last night. That's right. I got him yesterday. Did that done it? Last so night here. I, was, I was busy working, so I missed it. Oh, yeah, he's, he's uh, polished and not polished. Oh, oh no. Is that fly sitting right there? That is too freaking cute. Ew, I just killed a fly. Disgusting. Hey, Patty. You have a baby panda just like this? Aw. This fly was huge. All right, so that guy is uh, 25 if anyone's interested. Hey, I love that body. body. See, look at him. <laughs> what is that? It's a dead fly. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> Next is this amethyst pumpkin. This guy is a 22. 22, buy it now is fine. I don't know why I just don't say buy it now for these. But it's like a really, it's a dark amethyst with some banding in there. It almost makes me think it's like um, dream amethyst, but there's no reports that I'm seeing, really. But it is amethyst, dark amethyst. Little pumpkin. Yo, he got red and orange goop on my desk. Disgusting. Yuck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is gross. <laughs> He's really big. His eyes are really pretty though. Poor Who? The fly? <laughs> yeah. He's got those big pretty red eyeballs. <laughs> I don't hate flies, you know. I like them. <laughs> I watch too many yeah, mine, man. things to like flies. Huh? All right, the third item is uh, this bunny that I still have. This large bunny. This guy is 30. 30. Large carving here compared to the panda. Now, if you could put some uh, red and pink around the mouth of that bunny, that would be freaking perfect. It would be the Monty Python bunny. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I was never much for those movies. Oh, it was... <laughs> I'm showing my geekery again. Um, World of Warcraft. There is a bunny that would... It was something you had to kill. It killed it. It sold for a lot. It was a pet that you could have and it sold for a lot. So I was one of those people that would like camp that site and then leave because it never showed up. All right. Hi, Lana. Hey, Lana. Hey, Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> yes, I have a pumpkin too, Elizabeth. It's over on my shelf over there. <laughs> From 
Laura. <laughs> Everyone needs 10 pumpkins. <laughs> you can never have enough pumpkins. I don't have any pumpkins. Let me know if you're interested. Panda, 25. Pumpkin, 22. You are not done already. I am. That was three. Oh my God, are you kidding me? That was faster than me. <laughs> you were fast last time, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> I still have this uh, body shimmer, Eloise body shimmer, retails for $39, $12. I still have cookbooks left for a dollar. <gasps> Michelle wants the pumpkin. Thanks, Michelle. She needs a pumpkin. She wants it. Everyone needs a pumpkin. <laughs> Michelle doesn't have no pumpkins. Oh, did she just get the pumpkin? Yep. yep. <laughs> cool me. Let's go. Oh. Okay, that's fine. All right. Do you guys want pink amethyst chips? Have you just been craving <laughs> and your little jewelry making artistic minds for some pink amethyst chips i don't know why that was that just went away well look no further want no more i have some pink amethyst chippies chippy boys and they are great question you asked very good questions mm -hmm. let me let me look just gotta find it. Ah. So. These are $8 a bag, and I have five bags available. Little baggies. I'm trying to keep them as even as possible. This one might have a little bit more in there. Like if you flatten it out. Next question, do they have holes? No, they are not pre-drilled. They are not pre-drilled. I don't even see that comment. Who said that? Am I missing comments too? Or did you just ask that, Christine? No. I think that was my personal question. Oh, okay. everybody wants to know. Does it have yeah. holes? Okay. Yeah. No holes. They're just little chips. So if you want any of those, let me know. And I do have aqua But it's going to be more expensive. Are both more expensive materials. So I do have the pink amethyst chips, $8 a bag if anyone wants it. And then if you want to know the price on the aqua green, or if you want it literally all of this, or if you want me to separate it in three different bags, let me know. And I can give you a price. You're in a tunnel. I'm in a tunnel. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, as I was saying, these are aquamarine. The aquamarine is more expensive um, because these are both more expensive materials. So I can sell the whole thing of aquamarine that I have, or I can split it up into three bags. And then I've got the pink amethyst. Beautiful pink amethyst chips. It's quite a bit. Um, these are actually, these bags are more full than the other bags that you got from me. So there is more chips in here than the last ones. Um, which is why it's a little bit more expensive. But these are the only size bags I have. <laughs> How much for the aquamarine, you think? Um, for the if you want the whole bag, I can do. Um, I 
I can do 16 for the whole bag, but that's that's the lowest I can go. I can't go any lower than that. So it'd be 16 for the whole bag. For the aquamarine. And then I also have shark teeth. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest, it mostly just looks like bone fragments. That's a lot, my goodness. Yeah, don't you want a bunch of shark teeth? Sure. Cool. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's a little. 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 Okay, um, I almost said that, but Barry, she wanted half the bag of aquamarine chips. So, Quintia, are you, oh my god, not Quintia, Jesus, Carmen, I'm sorry. Carmen, are you okay with splitting the bag with Barry? So $8 for you and $8 for her. And I will split it evenly, like I'll weigh it out and everything. I'm not sure how to do that. Okay, and the shark teeth, are you going to like put several bags, like between the three bags or something, or are you just going to sell the whole bag? No, I'll put them in smaller bags. That's a lot of shark teeth for one person. Oh, okay, true. Might be I a little shark teeth. I want a little baggy. Right? They're cute. However you sell them. So. I'm missing one of those? Okay. Well. Okay, Carmen. That's awesome. Thank you, girl. And then, um, I have a box ready for you to be shipped out as well. So make sure you double check your PayPal and things for me. I have no problem holding it, but in case you didn't know, I do have that going on. So, okay. These are crackle quartz. Number one is $10. These are towers. Oh, my eyeball. These other ones are a lot bigger. Number one is 10 and kind of yellowish. Okay, number two is also kind of yellowish. And this one's 15. These are Crackle Quartz Towers. And this one is a chunker. And here's 15. They look yellow. That one is, yeah. Yeah. And then number three is also 15, and he is quite clear. More clear. And he's a chunky. And then number four is also 15. And these are really chunky. And then number five is 18. He is quite chunky. I love crackle quartz. It's really cool. Did you say that one was number four for 18? This one's number five for 18, yeah. Five for Here's the difference between one and five. And the difference between the 15 and the 18. 
Yes, rainbows like crazy. So this is, uh, it is clear quartz, but they call it crackle quartz because of all the little, like, cracks that happen on the inside. They heat treat it to get it like that. It's not natural. Did he treat it to crack like that? Yeah. That's cool, though. It is cool. I think it's really pretty. Sweet. Carol, six does not exist. You mean number five, the last one? I might have called it number six, but that's not correct. I lost my thing here. And all stones help with your health. You brought your mental health too. Keep bobbing my head because I've got music going in my head. Maybe that because they heat treat it, like some of it just turned kind of yellow. Then you think? Oh yeah, the heat treated would make it turn more Maybe. yellow. Maybe Carol. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Frankly, you lost the joke. I said I'm number six. I'm oh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I did lose the joke. All right, all right. There's a lot of us that check. So it looks like we're we're passing on. What are these called? We're passing on the crackle quartz towers. Is that what's up? that guys like here's the ink compared to that and then here's it in comparison to the smelting towers you can see it it's very chunky and very pretty alright that was my three if you want any of those you better tell me otherwise you snooze you lose and you go achoo and you fall asleep <laughs> all right i have this uh ruby zoocyte stretchy bracelet and it's a four dollar buy it now <laughs> ruby zoocyte Four dollar buy it now. Stretchy bracelet. I love the color green and then purple. Yes. Yep. Well, the ruby is like a pinkish color there. On my screen, it looks purple. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I love it. Oh, yeah, Patty, it's, it's pushing purple. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. It's yours. All right. Next, we have this picture, picture Jasper necklace. It's doubled over. Um, and this is going to be a $5 start. Picture Jasper. It's just a pullover. There's no clasp. It is long. A combination of picture Jasper beads and glass faceted like uh, tan beads. And also these these feel like acrylic. The round ones feel acrylic. These faceted feel glass. And then picture Jasper beads. Hi, Christy S. Yes. Hi. Okay, so scratched out. It's not a strand, but no, yeah. it's a, it's a necklace. Just a pull over. Or you could 
wrap it around four times as a bracelet. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Patty. Thank you, Patty. And if there's no other interest, we can just call it to Patty. Hey, Maury. I'm jealous. I want some pizza. Lindsay, I will be back by 7 p.m. What does that mean? <laughs> Thank you, Patty. And then my we like, Huh? We like to be confused. <laughs> you live in New York. <laughs> The next I have is this uh, bracelet with a 925 clasp on it and some these stones. I don't know what kind of beads these are. These might be stone. I'm not sure. But I'll just start it at five bucks. This I did test this though. This is a 925 clasp. So you could just use it and make something else. But it has these um they're pretty beads. They feel glass. Different colors brown. This one kind of reminds me of a uh, corn kernel. This one looks like a pearl. Another faceted brown tear shaped bead. And these, I'm not sure if these are stone or not. I'm not sure what these are. Or if they're like a glass bead. Darn it. There we go. Actually, yeah, I think they're, yeah, these are acrylic. These are, I think this feels like acrylic. But yeah, it's a cute bracelet. Earth, earth tones, 925 clasp. Laura. Hi, Laura. <laughs> no, Elizabeth, I see. Aw. All right. Well, if anyone's interested in this bracelet with a 95 class for five, just let me know. And that was my three, Miranda. It was? Mm -hmm. It's a doki artichoke. I have Phoenix Towers! So, they're 12 and 15. The smaller ones are 12 and the bigger ones are 15. And I'll number them. The first three are 12 and then the last three are 15. The first one is a short chunky. Number one. This, these are good for keeping the negativity out of your life. Just so you know. <laughs> Gotta wear that shit around my neck. That's number one. <laughs> Number two. Number three. I see Phoenix Tower. I thought it would be red. <laughs> <laughs> right? One, two, three. Number four. So now number four is 15. Number five. 
and number six. So if anyone wants any of those, let me know. Ooh, my arm got tired. Oh my goodness. Okay. Pat, you want number one? Oh my gosh, my marker's not working. It's driving. Please work. Okay, listen. Do I have a bigger one? I do. Thank you, Pat. Anybody else interested in a Phoenix Tower? All right, if you are, just let me know. Next, I will show this piece of pottery. This is a $10 start. <clears throat> and a big old pottery vase. How much for the pottery vase? This one is a ten dollar start. That guy. And then lastly, I will show. Oops, oh, I need that. This is three little metal doggies. Um, and it looks like they had like a bottom mechanism on it, but it's not there anymore. And we'll do a $5 start on these guys. Thank you, Laura. And so I got those. And if there's no interest in those, we can put a pass it. All right, Gina, you ready? Yep. All right, I have this dyed druzy necklace, and it's a $5 buy it now. It's a pink dyed druzy on a long silver tone chain. I can easily put it over my head. It even has an extender. Officer claw clasp, nice chain, and then it's a real. Jersey cluster that's been dyed pink. It's got that silver finish on the sides all around it, and the back is flat. It has a double, double bail.
the light looks through it. Oh, Lindsay. Okay, eBay. My goodness. All right. Well, that guy was five if anyone's interested. <clears throat> All right. And uh, Carolyn, I thought of you when I found this. This is uh, definitely Asian inspired. And it's just a dollar buy it now. It has um, it's a barrel class, so I think it's vintage. It does some have does some wear on the metal, and it's very light. They all feel like wooden beads with uh, an Asian design on them. Hi, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Very light, lightweight, wood, wooden beads, barrel clasps, clasps. Yeah, Carol's in a one. All right, thanks, Carol. Carolyn, way, way far behind. Are you lagging, Carolyn? Carolyn, you'd have to come in at two. Oh, wait, I said it was a buy it now. Did you put that, Christy? I didn't put buy it now, I just put a dollar. Okay. Huh. Let me beat everything up. Send us to Carolyn, okay. <laughs> All right, so Carol, you want it and you want to uh, send it to Carolyn. Very sweet of you. Thank you. Hey, Jonathan, guess what man cave item I am today? <laughs> I had the turtle shell last time. What do you, what do you think it's going to be this time? <laughs> Nobody's home in the chat. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was my third item, Miranda. Oh, it was? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I did not see Carol put that before I even put it up there on the thing. I didn't see it. Oh, it's okay. Don't be afraid to ask. I'm going to to Carolyn anyway. I'm out of peens. I haven't had peens for a while. Oh, that has a little piece of coral with it. All right. So, I have little baggies of shark teeth. That's man cave. That's man cave if I ever heard of it. <laughs> Little bone fragments and sharky teeth. And uh, these are five bucks per bag. I'm not sure how many bags I have yet. I'm, I'm doing them right now. Antlers. I have a really cool like, gold antler. Uh, gold deer with antler. Um, I put too many teeth in there. Ugh. Are those like miniature dog bones? No, they're shark teeth. <laughs> I, you should not give them to your dog. Don't do that. Antlers, yeah, they're bones. That's right, Michelle P. That's pretty close. All right. On a real note, these are five bucks a bag. If you want a bag, I know Gina, you said you wanted one. If you want a bag of shark teeth, yes, yes please. Let me know. And I've got two, four, six, seven. I have seven or eight bags. So if you want one, let me know. 
Also, for eight dollars, for eight dollars, you can get a bag of pink amethyst chips. They are not drilled. It's just beautiful pink amethyst, and I've got five of those bags. So if you want that, let me know. Now, something that everyone has been kind of waiting for. I don't know if you're still waiting for it, but you were when I showed it. Are these. And I could not get any more towers of the Golden Sunstone, but I did get three beautiful, deep, dark, bright orange spheres of it. So the big one is going to be a $35 start. And then the two smaller ones are $22. So 35 and 22. We'll do the big one first. The big baby. That's it in my hand. It looks like a freaking planet, doesn't it? It's really cool. I love them. I understand why this is, you know, people's like super fave. It's really cool. So that's the big mammo. And then if you want a smaller one, we'll do. Maury, you want my big guy? He is yours. He's beautiful. He's a very, very bright. Stay. Get that box out of my way. Thank you, Maury. Maury, Maury. And I'm shipping your box tomorrow. Um, and I can fit that in there, so I'll just throw that in there, okay? And invoice you for it separate. No big deals. And then Michelle, <laughs> Michelle P is already in at 22 for one of the smaller ones. Um, so this one will be number one. And this one is number two. Number two has more, like, separation on it, I would say. Hey, that's what Christy said. I mean, that's what Teresa said. No, that's, I think that's what Christy said earlier. Oh, great minds think alike. Hmm. I know these are beautiful, right? I figured I'd just get a few and see how that works. And then if you guys wanted more, I can see if they have more. They run out of this material a lot, though, because of how beautiful it is. So that is one and two. Michelle, let me know if you want one or two. One is more solid. And then this one's number two. And these were the, the like most orange, like most orange red ones that they had. All right. Michelle is gonna snatch up number two. So does anybody want number one for 22? all right if anyone wants that one let me know later put that in the in there and that was two items i have one more Well, this is a big glass candy dish. It is not crystal. It is uh, just like thick vintage glass. Nice big candy dish. Fairly large. Set it in front of my face. <laughs> and uh, this one is a $20 start. And I'm basically a pro at wrapping candy dishes now because I really like picking them up and you guys seem to enjoy them. So that's good.
I don't know. I was doing the. Never mind. <laughs> it's quiet in here today. So if anybody wants this guy, he is twenty bucks. He's fairly large. He is a little heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, only only about a hundred or so. All right, Gina, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. It would be pretty with fairy lights. Oh, oh no! Don't remove. Okay, there she is. Good night, Laura. Good night, Laura. All right. Awesome, I still have, <laughs> I still oh, have angel aura quartz. This is twenty two dollars. That looks like a big one too. It is. It's a really big one. $22. Buy it now. Not yet, Carolyn. I'm scared to wrap it because I'm scared to send it because I'm scared it's going to like end up busted. But I am working on it. There's the perfect spot in your in your box for it. So... I'm just worried. It's really tough. So I think it would be like hard to break. I'm just, I'm still scared. That makes sense. <laughs> so this is a real clear quartz cluster that's been treated with an aura treatment that gives it that rainbow effect. And they call it angel aura. This is a nice big cluster. And the titanium one makes it look like smoky quartz. I think it's really cool. Yeah. Hello, Cha Cha. Yeah, I still have one of those here. That's what that looks like, the titanium. But that is sold. But I have this big guy left for 22 if anyone's interested. Well, what? Well, tomorrow's. Tomorrow's Friday, and it's, it'll go out tomorrow. I'll wrap it tonight. I'll make Cha-Cha and Gina help me do it. And then, Cindy, I do, yes, I need your emotional support. For what? To help For me what? wrap that big crystal ice bucket. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, now my second item is I have two eight balls available. You're an eight ball. These guys are twenty dollars. Buy it now. Twenty buy it nows. And then Cindy, I got I got your payment. Um, but I don't think the the big tiger's eye towers on that one. I've got your second invoice, um, ready, but I didn't send it yet because I didn't want to confuse you. So I think that'll come in your second package, unless you want me just to swap out a few things that like is worth the same, um. And put that in there. Like, if you really want that first, I can do that. <clears throat> Doesn't matter to me. Gotcha. <sighs> Going out to <sighs> Hey, Andy. Honey. You already got one, Andy. <laughs> Yours is over there. <laughs> Yeah, honey, I already bought you one. <laughs> huh? Trying to ruin your gifts? Get out of here. Go away. You don't need a second eight ball. You got one eight ball. You don't need to make 16, okay? Needs <sighs> enough. All right, those guys are available. <laughs> I'm guessing you're retracting your bid, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, okay, cool, never mind. He did get an eight. He did, Jonathan. <laughs> And you didn't even, it wasn't like you surprising him. He asked for one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe well, he didn't you. think that. Just right over there. And as soon as Miranda has me ship her stuff, you will have it. <laughs> Maybe he didn't think that, like, you were going to just put it to the side. Oh, yeah, of course. All right, my third item is, I'm going to show this Moss Agate Tower again. This thing is beautiful, and it is $30. It is a bigger tower. It is like a blue moss agate. All that agate in there is like a blue shade.
Hang on, guys. I'll answer. I'll talk to your other questions in a second after she's done. I don't want to keep interrupting you. Have we made it to that time the night where you're reshowing stuff? Oh, I just, I just wanted to grab it because it's like it's gorgeous. Yeah. In case people missed it. <laughs> Destiny, don't cry. Me, that's so pretty. <laughs> So Jonathan, it's like <laughs> Jonathan, you got your you got your own Shungite sphere. Why would you want mine? Oh, this this does sit a little crooked. Forgot to mention that. Hey Amber, a little bit. What's up, beautiful mama? How you doing? Gorgeous. And that was my third item. No. Wow. Why don't you just show one more thing? Because like I'm scheduling in a pickup real quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, boo. <laughs> All right. Uh, Get off me. That that hurts. Hurts. Really slinky. It almost looks like liquid metal. It's like a gunmetal color. It feels like snakes. And it's a dollar start. I know, Jonathan, but yours is different too. Well, I already have like a semi-polished Shungite big tower that I'm very happy with. I love my tower. It's huge. Dollar so start funny. for this gunmetal five tier like liquid metal. Yeah, it feels like snakes. You know that liquid metal look and feel? Cool. Amber, what did I get? Andy got a squid from you and then I got what animal did I get? I don't remember. I didn't see a message from you. Hey, Amber. Off the double look. Yes, honey, you're squid. I got, what, didn't I get like a panda or something? No, I didn't get a panda. I got a sloth. Did I get a sloth? I hope I got a sloth. Love those. Mm. Sloths are so cute. Yeah, I got a little sloth. It's really fun to touch and play with. I freaking I like panda sloths and giraffes, so I couldn't remember what I got. That looks gross, like you're playing with worms. It's it feels like that. It's really cool. Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Would not recommend. I don't know, Andy. <laughs> <sighs> My goodness. It's like that serpentine type thing, like where it goes back into itself, you know? Lana's out. Patty's in a five. All right. Was it just between them two? I don't know why I shouted. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Bye, Cha Cha. At least Cha Cha says bye now. Yes, bye, Cha Cha. All right, sold to Patty. Thank you, Patty. Oh, I wonder which towers are those. I got Moonstone with with uh, it's Moonstone and Smoky Quartz. Oh, yeah, it's really cool. I remember seeing it, but I don't remember. I don't know where it's at right now. Please. Yeah, and I got acorns, and I got a shell comb. I'm trying to figure out what these are. Yellow Maybe bamboo leaf. Maybe that's what this is. All right. I'm trying to figure out what this stone is. Is Laura still here, or did she go to bed? I thought she went to bed. Oh, that's uh, bamboo jasper. Oh, okay, cool. So it is it is the, the yellow bamboo leaf? Yeah. Oh, Micah. I Next just uh, someone just got a bamboo jasper sphere from me, see? Remember I've been showing this for like a couple weeks now? Yeah. 
Oh, I'm a dummy. It's fine. <laughs> okay, I don't think this is the OJ Tower with the Druzy. Okay, so. Cool. This one is 50, and it is an OJ Tower. And it is big. It is a bigger one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ocean Jasper. Oh, that is stunning. Is my favorite parts of it. And ordinarily, I would start this up more, but tonight I'm just feeling good. So you know what? Fifty bucks. Did you say fifty? Yeah, Ocean Jasper is expensive, man. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I've noticed uh, an increase in interest in it lately. Yes. And its point's not perfect, so don't, like, freak out. Point is not perfect. Uh, it's about one, two, three, four, four six-ish. Six-ish. I don't have my my thing over here, so I'm guessing. One, two, three, four. Yeah, like between five and a half and six inches tall, and about two, two and a half inches across the bottom. So six, six to seven inches tall, and two to three inches wide. Or five to six inches, not six to seven, right? Four, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six ish. Here is it on my forearm. And this is the biggest one I have. I do have two other Ocean Jasper Towers, but this one is the prettiest and the biggest. Go big or go home. That's how I always start it. <laughs> but I don't have to go home. Because I'm here. But it is gorgeous. Stay. I think I got a better deal on that one than the last one that I got. The last ones I got, I think I bought from somewhere else. And they were definitely more expensive. Okay. So. Where am I? There we go. Okay, so if somebody wants it, let me know. Yeah, I mean, I could polish it to a point if you want me to. It's not too hard to polish it. I have, like, a Dremel and stuff. So if you want it polished, make the point pointy again, you know, so you can... Jack somebody up with it. This. Okay. These are the Bamboo Jasper Towers. I have three of them. These are $12 each. Here is number one. I got lost. What was that? Uh, these are... Bamboo Jasper Towers, and these are 12. And this one's number one. Number two. How much? They're 12. That one's number two. And then number three is slightly bigger than the other ones. I'm killing Lindsay. Lindsay, I don't think you've ever gotten any stones from me, girl. But I'm always killing you. <laughs> I gotta stop killing you, man. Alright, so there's that. And I think that's it for the new stones I'm gonna show today. I just claim number two. 
Do you want number two? She wants number two. You got it. Thank you. Anybody else? Puppy stop. What does JTT mean? I know you gotta go potty. We're gonna go out in just a second. Yeah. I'm gonna wipe that ear out, honey. <laughs> Alrighty. If anybody else wants one, let me know. I gotta go let my dog out, so I'm gonna throw Regina out. Be good. I'm watching you guys. <laughs> All right. I've got this. Uh, I don't, Carolyn, I don't know if this is considered. Oh, and keep the chat kind of clean. I love jokes as much as the next person. But don't dwell on it for too long, okay? I love you guys. Be appropriate. So this looks like an evil eye type of necklace. It's all wooden. There's the clasp. Might be vintage. I'm not sure, but it says like XOX. And it's wooden. Oh, and it's please. I meant please as well. <laughs> this is going to be a dollar start. Dollar start. It's pretty long. I can pull it over my head. Evil eyes all around. <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn. Yes, very boho. Again, there's the clasp and it comes out, you slide it out. I can do it again. Like so. Oh, it says something. Oh, what does that say? I need to get my loop. So on one side it says like XOX, and on the other side says. It looks vintage to me, but I don't know. Okay, the first letter looks like an upside down U. Might be a different language. I don't know. Like upside down U, B4M. That's what it says. Interesting. Do you think it is vintage or new to look vintage? Um, I'm going to guess vintage based on this clasp. Yeah, the class looks like it is definitely with be real vintage. So it says XOX, and then the other side says those letters I just said. Upside down U, B, 4, M. No clue. It is long, yeah. <laughs> All right, Carolyn's out to Lana. I think Lana came in at four last. Laura, okay, Lana was in at four. All right, looks like it's going to be sold to Lana. Thank you, Lana.
Thank you. Um, in case anyone missed the body, get gleaming body glow illuminator. This guy is twelve dollars. Brand new sealed retails for thirty nine dollars. It's a pump, and you can put it like on your face or your body for a illuminating effect. Okay. Oh, next I have these necklaces. These are going to be a $2 start choice. $2 start choice. We have what looks like a shark tooth. So number one is a wooden beaded necklace with a shark tooth lobster claw clasp. Wooden beads leading up to the shark tooth pendant. Pretty cool. That's number one. Number two is this pretty cat's eye, possibly vintage barrel clasp, blue cat's eye chips and pendant. Did you know that cat's eye is actually satin spar that's been dyed? No, I didn't. I don't think I knew or that. Or selenite, if you want to call it selenite. Really? Yeah, that's why it has like that same like flash. Well, that's cool. And it's also they're also both delicate. Like you can scratch them. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Number three is this blue, possibly vintage barrel clasp. I'm not sure what these are. It could be dyed bone. It's like a porous looking bead that kind of feels like bone. But I can't say for sure, but it's pretty cool. It's a pretty shade of like denim colored blue. And it's uh, nice and long. I can put it over my head. That's number three. Pretty shade of blue. I like that. It's like a sophisticated that, blue. That is pretty nice. Cool blue. Oh, yeah. And again, number two was the barrel clasp cat's eye. Blue cat's eye, which is dyed selenites or satin spar. And number one is the, thank you, Jonathan, is the lobster claw clasp necklace with wooden beads and a shark tooth pendant. Um, calcite and selenite are different, but cat's eye is like selenite, so it, it would, it like they're the same. Okay. So calcite and selenite are different. But cat's eye is selenite or satin spar. They're technically different, but people call them the same thing. And that does um, like dissolve, like it's water dissol dissolvable. So cat's eye is water dissol dissolvable. Good. And solve, what is the word? Sol sol soluble? Yeah. <laughs> the damn word. Um, I don't think cal calcite is, though. I think calcite is fine to be in water and things like that. All these words. For, for a short period of time. I've always heard that anything that ends with it is basically possibly sensitive to water and you shouldn't like soak it. Like you can just like rinse it and stuff, but you gotta be careful and look it up first. Things that <laughs> live with it. Ite. So I've heard anyway. Mm -hmm. so, all right. So it looks like uh, Jonathan came in at two and uh, we can call Let it to Jonathan. Lana, if you want number one, you gotta come in at $3 to get first pick. Yep. And you're welcome, Lindsay. And Fairy said, yes, Gina. <laughs> she just said, yes, Gina, but I like saying, yes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Lana's in at three. Jonathan's in at four. You got you have to win to pick though, Lana. I'm sorry. <laughs> so now yeah. you gotta come in at five. Whoever wins the highest bid gets first dibs. That's how it goes.
<laughs> yes. Elizabeth, I wonder which one she wants to. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, Lana's out. Jonathan at six. I said be right back and then the auction started. Hey. Oh. <laughs> All right, Alfaro, what do you want? One, two, or three year old? One is the shark tooth, two is the cat's eye, three is the dyed bone, I believe. <laughs> I can get which one. Exactly, I knew the shark tooth. Yeah. The shark tooth, right? Yes. Yeah, that's what he said. You got it. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay, Lana, were you interested in any of the other two? If you are, let me know. Of course, I don't think you were. <laughs> he was interested in the cat's eye. Oh, you do want the cat's eye. You got it. Thank you, Lana. Thank you, guys. Right. That was just your second, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then um, I haven't shown this lady tonight. This is she is thirty dollars. She's actually a really good price. I actually let's go for more than this, but uh, she is a black obsidian female figure. My lighting! Oh my goodness! She's thirty. This is her compared to the panda bear, for example. So she is a taller carving. Very cool. Black obsidian. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so this lady's 30 if anyone's interested. <laughs> that was my three. Okie dokie. Hey, Heather. Hey! You're Teresa's daughter, right? Yeah, that's Teresa's daughter. Oh, hello, I'm Teresa's daughter. I am Miranda. It's nice to officially meet you. Hello. Or the, the re-homer. <laughs> Whatever you want to call me. <laughs> Some people call me Homer. I haven't been called Homer in a while, actually. That was a thing for the longest time, though. Like, everywhere I went, people called me Homer. All right, I'm going to show the rest of the hard goods that I have picked out for today. And then Gina's going to go, and then I actually have um, some clothes that I'm going to show. Uh, Black Obsidian 
specifically is really good for protection. Yes. And other things. Amazing for protection. Yeah. Against evil, negative energy. Get the ground. negative energy. And help ground you. Ground yourself. It's black, so that stuff just bounces right off. Kasha does still call me Oma. She's like, there's my Oma. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pottery bowl with a, oh my gosh, this has a word, but I don't remember. It's got a little hole in the bottom for water to come out of. And then it's got two little pottery birds on there. This one's going to be $12. These will just be buy it now. 12 bucks for this guy. Hi, kitty. I don't want you up here right now, but yeah, hi. And then this is five dollars. It's a little glass lidded jar. And then I have another five dollar glass lidded jar, and it's like a short skinny. And then I have a little pottery bowl. This one is six dollars. Beautiful blue. Oh, my hair. And then this is made in Japan and it is a hand painted pottery piece. This one is $12. Oopsies. And here's what it looks like. Hand painted, made in Japan. That one is $12. I see you for five, Maury. I got you. Do you want the short one or the tall one? And then this guy was 12 and he is going to be 10. It is a hard case, blue with white polka dots. And it is a hard case jewelry holder. And this would be $10. And then the last thing that's in here is this guy which is a portable weather station and alarm clock and it is five dollars as well both please you got it maury you got it boo and this guy is brand new in here and i think i said five or six for this guy i don't remember what i said what did i say <laughs> I think I said five. So five dollars for the portable weather station and alarm clock is this guy. It's called a frog something. That little thing that's in there, a frog stem maybe? A frog something. I don't remember. Ooh, my hair is like, hey, Michelle. Hello, boo-boo. How you doing? 12 is for which one? Showbox again, please. You got it. So this one is 10 bucks. Flower frog. That's right. Flower frog. So here's the inside of that guy. So Michelle said 12. It's Michelle is the 12 for the flower frog pottery with the birds. Christy, will you ask her in the chat? If it's for the flower frog pottery or if it's for the Japan pottery. The flower frog. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I think. Pretty sure. So there's this guy. And more you want this too? Okay. So... I think you've got all my hard cases. You've got like a nice little collection of them. I haven't found any more in such a long time. So Maury got those things. Michelle got this guy. You know, when you first showed that thing, I was thinking it was a kitchen sink pottery bowl. <laughs> and then you said it was birds. I was like, oh, I see the birds. So this one is $6. The Japan one is 12 And then the portable weather station and clock is 5 bucks, and it is brand new. It is a flower frog. It's got the little hole thing, and then it has, it's got a hole for the liquid to come out of it. All right. 
Thank you. Apparently I'm dabbing out. You're in a tunnel. All right, Gina, are you ready? Or not quite? I stepped away. Okay, um, I'll just show it past real quick. If anyone wants any of the Phoenix Towers, I have two different sizes. I have $12 ones and a $15 ones. And these are the Phoenix Towers. So if you want one, just let me know if you want a 12 or a 15. And then I had Crackle Quartz Towers. This one's 15 and I've got a couple more. Got a smaller one that's 10. And then these are Bamboo Jasper. These are 12. We'll say one and two. If anyone wants one of these. Bamboo Jasper Towers. Put those in order, one and two. And then I have little baggies of shark teeth, bone fragments and shark teeth. These are five bucks a bag if you want one. And then I also have pink amethyst chips, and these are $8 a bag. Number two for the bamboo, Maury. I'm back. Okay. Cool. I think I showed everything except for this. I've got a small uh, golden sunstone sphere left, and this guy's 22. And then the last thing is this guy, which is 50, and it is a big ocean jasper tower. I love the sponginess right there. The colors are just so pretty. All right. Thank you guys very much. Now I'm going to throw you on for a little bit. I got to run to the restroom real quick and then get the clothes ready. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. I keep trying to remove you. Jeez. Is this our wrap up for the night? Uh, um... We can. I mean, I can show the clothes a different night. Oh, no, I wasn't. I just, you just showed things that you already showed. I wasn't sure. I was just asking. Oh, yeah, because you, you walked away and I didn't know what else to do, so I was just oh, okay. showing some, some no, stuff. I'm still, I'm still cool with still going if you are. Okay, cool. I'm going to run to the bathroom and then I'll show some clothes and then uh, and then we'll probably wrap it up after that sometime. Okay. All right. I just, uh, I have some henna, henna cones left. They're $3 each. Henna cones, three dollars each. Plenty in here to do um, both your hands. So all you do is you pull out the green thing and then you cut it with scissors to your desired thickness. You test it and you just squeeze a little bit out and you can draw with it. <clears throat> she already did it one night on her what how far did you go almost yes we had art game one night or just like an art night was it and uh, i drew a kind of design on my arm it's fun because she's so artsy <laughs> and this is the the traditional uh reddish brown henna so these are three dollars each i have a bunch if anyone's interested it's fun to have henna parties with your friends how long would you say the henna lasts usually? Oh, it probably lasted like a week, week and a half before it was like totally gone. Yeah, I know for a while like still see this sign. <laughs> yeah, see. I mean, it stays pretty strong for like the first three, four days. And then maybe even five, but then it starts like coming off in different areas. Especially if like you wash your hands a lot, it'll come off. And it's like a washer off first. Okay, next I have this uh, cute little wooden armoire dresser type thingy, and it's an $8. Buy it now. 
Very cute. Opens up. Has a drawer. Has birdhouses painted on it. Just an $8. Buy it now. You could even repaint it. Solid color or whatever. But very cute. And it is wood. Looks like they've painted like a crackle paint design on there. Yeah, it's very country chic. I love that yes. crackle. Yep, but you could easily turn it into something more modern by just painting it a single solid color. Oh, hey, Michelle. So this guy's eight if anyone's interested. You didn't miss all of it, Michelle. There's still a little bit left. And there's stuff that you didn't yes. see. You're interested in the show. I showed this guy earlier. $5. It's a dyed Druzy necklace. Just going to put that back. Uh, Michelle, I showed a new Moss Agate Tower I have in. It's 30 <clears throat> It's beautiful. It's, got like, it's like a blue Moss Agate. Because the milky parts are like very blue instead of that typical like white milkiness. It's a nice sized tower. Um, I still have the panda, black obsidian panda for twenty five. I'll just go through and just show some things quickly. <laughs> um, I have the dolphin, black obsidian dolphin for twenty. This one's twenty. I still have the mouse or gerbil. It has a long tail. It is a really nice carving. It even has feet carved at the bottom. I've never seen that before. And I actually have another one of these on the way. Really cute. The long tail there. This guy's 25. I still have the black obsidian uh, stoned cat with fish. 22. This guy's 22. Has like a beetle back and a stub tail. It's very interesting. Um, still have the koala, black obsidian koala. This guy's 28. He is a little larger than the other carvings. That's why he's just a bit more. Is that a boy or a girl moss? <laughs> I have no idea. You can't tell. <laughs> Again, the koala is 28. Maybe so, they'd rather not say if they're a boy or a girl. <laughs> be whatever you want it to be. I know. I'm surprised they still have the mouse. Still have the woman for 30. Still have the owl, the smoky fluorite owl with a top hat. This guy's 25. He's so cute. 25 owl with top hat. Still have the black obsidian snake for 12. The snake. Still have the, the, wants the dolphin piece. Oh, yes. <laughs> Michelle P. Awesome. Thanks, Michelle. That guy is yours. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Um, still have the Angel Aura cluster for 22. Nice big piece, 22. I still have this really nice um, alien carving. Spiderweb Jasper. This guy's 25. Really nice detailed carving there. Looks so real. Uh, 
I'm surprised you still have that because I mean it looks very I know right so very cool. collectible like a Star Trek you know alien yep and some people are really into aliens too um so we'll have the eight balls the eight balls are 20 have a Kesara dog this dog was 10 Kesara dog for 10 Red Jasper Cat for eight. Red Jasper Cat has a nice little vein of uh, clear quartz running through it. Love that in Red Jasper. <clears throat> um, let's see. So we'll have these big Labradorite palm stones. Very large ones. These guys were... Um, 18. This one was the least of the flashy. We have some purple flash right there. Again, these guys were 18. This other one here has more flash on it. Let's see. There it is. Purple and pink up here. Orange and yellow near the bottom. Really pretty. And also like little speckly bits, so kind of like kind of like when you like that you see an opal, you know, like these little speckles. That's what it reminds me of. Like up in here, little speckles of rainbow. Same thing on this side, so get some speckles, rainbow speckles. And some flash. Oh, there's more rainbow flash. Again, this guy's 18. Sorry, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Just going through stuff. I can show a bunch of stones, so uh, you can. I'm good for now. All right. I'm just getting some shark teeth for me. <laughs> cool. Here we go. I'll still have the body illuminator for 12. We'll have the donkey for 20. Big <laughs> broken, broken ear. But if you put them this way, you can't tell. Broken ear donkey, 20. Really great price for him. He's really big. All right. Well, cool. I don't think I missed anything. I'm on a sugar crush. Da, 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 da. Now that's in my head. That's a song. It's called Sugar Crush. And they're like, I just want to feel good. I don't think I know that. Well, I'll have to play it for you after the sale. Do we want to see clothing? Put a yes in the chat. And if you want to see brooches... Or pins, they're mostly pins. Put a no in the chat. <laughs> Let's make it confusing. Michelle said, Yes! My cat is teetering on stupid. Oh, Cindy, if you're still here, I definitely wanted to respond to your last message. Um, so I took out all the little towers that you got. Those are just gone. Um, but I can take out, like, the little mini carvings you got, take out a couple of those, and then put in that big tiger eye tower for you. I got lots of yeses, so we'll just do some clothes. <laughs> all right. We're going to do $2 start choice, okay? That's how this is going to work. And I think that's fine for what's over here. Okay, hi. Number one is athletic work, size extra large capri pants, and they do have pockets and they're a little faded. 
That'll be number one. My cat just sat in my chair. You're a little, a little pup. One, two, three. Okay, we'll do four at a time. Number two is Lovely Souls. This is in a size extra large. It's a black sweater that says Be Merry and Bright. I'm wishing you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. That was a little pitchy. Uh, number two are some pants, some pajama pants, secret treasures, size large with reindeer on them. That's number three. And then number four is a size 3XL, but it looks like an extra large. It's by Reflex. Life is out there. It is a red camo shirt that says love. It says 3X on the tag, but I'm telling you right now, this is like an extra large. I wish it was my size. And that's number four. Any takers? I don't want to listen to that song. So far, Maury wants number two and four. So Maury came in at two and then nobody else bid? No, nobody else bid. Hey, Caroline. Mm. Well, so Michelle L came in at two first. I have Michelle right before Maury. Right before, okay. So I think Maury, Maury, are you in at $4 then? Is that what the four is for? Let me put my hair up, otherwise I'm... I'm not going to be able to see anything. Sorry, I got mixed up. I guess. You're all right. Okay, so Maury's in at four. Michelle, are you out or do you want to come in at five? And I do have two and three X flows out in my garage. So I do have. Um, Bigger sizes. Message where? I'm going to beat Michelle's ass. <laughs> yeah, I took everybody's. I took away I took away wrenches completely, and then um, I gave uh, the people who helped me in the chat wrenches and uh, people I work with wrenches. So most people don't have a wrench. It's not a big deal. And I love you. Are you talking about Maury, your two, since she didn't see my bid, No, she freaking PM'd me and was like, Oh, okay. Did you take my wrench away? I took everybody. <laughs> I'm the wrench snatcher. I came in and I was like, Phew. Oh, she and then I this event. That's what she was gonna do. Told you to prepare. I know you did not just come over here to claw my beautiful chair. Cats. All right, Michelle, I'm going to assume that you're out. Start calling it to Maury. For number two or number... Well, it doesn't matter, I guess. <laughs> All right. Let me go here.
Okay, cool. Okay. So next thing, two dollar start choice again. Michelle, if you wanted either one of these pants, or if anybody else wants these pants, let me know. Number one is this guy. It's by Miss Betsy. It is a size 32. And it's got some cat hair on it. It is new with tags. And it was originally $70. Thank you, Maury. And it does have shoulder pads. So it's like a vintage navy shirt. And it comes with a necklace as well. And then it's got a, a patch of cat hair right there from the previous owner that I haven't lint rolled. But I can lint roll if you want me to. Number one. Number two is a black tank by No Boundaries. It's a triple XO. It's super soft and unstretched. It looks like an extra large to a 1X. And it says, oh my God, I can't even. <laughs> bro jonathan only comes in my chat when gina's here he does not get a wrench plus pretty much nobody gets a wrench that's just how it goes so this is number two and <laughs> Number three is no boundaries, size extra large. It is a red zip up jacket with a little kissy rhinestone mouth. What is that? And then number four. Number four is U.S. Vintage, and this is a man size large uh, Panama City Beach pullover sweater. Okay, and the highest bidder gets to their choice. That's why it's a two dollar start. So yeah, don't confuse yeah. me. Uh, that's why I'm not putting anything until yeah. Hey, Jules. Hey, Julie. Hey, Jules. All right. So hang on here. Uh, the corner doesn't exist on my channel. All right. So... Yes, it's a bid. We'll say uh, Carol. Yeah. So Carol's in at two dollars. Y'all are stressing me out. And anybody else come in now if you wanted to pick between the four, you'll have to come in at three. All right, so if you want to be tactical, Carol said number two instead of two. So Lana's in at $2. And the first person in at $3 is Carol. And Maury's in at high bid right now at $5. Okay, so let's see. I got you, Maury. All right, so Maury's in at high bid at five. How it works? is I show you a couple items and then it's a start choice bid. So let's say it starts at $2 and there's four people who are interested in one or multiple of the items. So whoever has the highest bid when it gets called sold gets first pick of the items. Whatever is left, if you, uh, <laughs> let me get, let me just give an example. I have two moons. This is a clear moon. This is a rose moon. Let's say I start the bid at $5 and Teresa and Carol are going back and forth bidding. Carol wins the bid at $15 and she picks one and there's one left. Now, 
if the other person who was bidding wants it, then they can have it for 15. So it goes for whatever the highest bid is. Thanks, Jules. If there's multiple people, meaning more than one um, person is bidding, then it just goes in succession of who had the highest bid. So if the highest bid was $15, whoever had that gets first pick. And let's say the next highest bid was $12. Whoever bid that would get a pick second. And then it just goes on and on and uh, until I'm either out of things or out of people. <laughs> Let me know if that made sense pretty okay. please. Uh, yeah, Heather, I did see you came in at five. Uh, but Maury came in at 10. So it's up to you guys what you want to do. All right, hang on. Okay, so Maury did put in $5 before Heather. I just want you to know. So Maury put in $5 before Heather, and then Julie put in $6, and then Maury is in at $10. Yeah, but you all pay the, the higher bid price. Okay, so Maury's in it. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. We're not confused. We're good. And and if you guys don't want to come in at all since it's at ten, she can show them later on. You know. Like yeah, I day. won't. I won't reshow any of the clothes tonight. Um, and I basically I show clothes at least once, sometimes twice. It just depends. Uh, but most of the stuff that gets passed, especially now, I'm just going to be listing. So there won't be like a lot of repeat showing things. So if you do want it, you got to tell me otherwise. It's going. Okay, so Maury's in at $10, and Julie did go out. Heather, darling, let me know if you're out, whether you're in or out. Um, if you are in, then we're looking for 11. Otherwise, we're going to call it to Maury, and I'll let her um, pick her stuff. I think she wants number four. Okay, thank you, Heather. Maury, I got you for number four. Did you want another one or is that it? Just let me know pretty please. And sometimes I forget that there's, there's I have, um, I have newer people who aren't used to the choice bid thing before, so it's always good to go over stuff like that again. And you want number two and number four, okay. Uh, so, Julie, you were second high. If you want one or three, let me know. If you need me to reshow them, let me know. Otherwise, just type pass for me, okay? Cool beans. Put these aside. Stay. All right. Thank you, Julie. Uh, so anybody else who is bidding, I'll open up the floor to you. One and three are left. If you want them, just to let me know. Uh, you will be getting them for $10, though, just to be aware of. Now, we'll start the next one. Again, it is a $2 start choice. Okay. Let's see. One, two... Three, four. I don't have too, too many clothes over here, so. Oh! Okay, I'm going to do the cat skull one separate because he's really cute. Uh, number one is, oh, I can't do that because it's leggings. Okay, number one is no comment plus, and this is a 1X. It is a Brooklyn t-shirt. It looks like it's got a little spot down here. I don't know if that's going to come out. That's number one. Number two is Aeropostale, size extra large, big wave, surf invitational, rock point Aeropostale. And that's number two. 
And then number three, the tag is gone, but it looks like it's a, a large or an extra large, and it is a black knitted cardigan with big chunky buttons and pockets. So chunky button, ch chunky buttons and pockets. My goodness. And we're just gonna do three choices for this one. He's <laughs> so cute. He's literally, it's a little t-shirt and he's a skull and the skull is made up of cat faces. All right, Carol's in at four and Maury's in at five. Uh, number one, I'm pretty sure is a size one X. It's an extra large or a one X. The tag is cut out of it. Don't you love it? we go um all right maury you got high bit at five i think everybody else is out what would you like darling and thank you very much for all the bids you guys thank you very much just came back sorry Welcome back. Hey, oh, ow. My foot. So these two for sure. I don't know if that first blue one is an extra large. Um, so. Was there anything else wanted anything else for five? <clears throat> okay. Now. So the first shirt is left, the Brooklyn shirt. It's either an extra large or a 1X, I'm not sure. Uh, these are Lou LaRoe tall and curvy leggings. This is the print. And these are going to be an $8 buy it now. The first person who types cat can have them for 8 bucks if you want them. Beautiful Lou LaRoe tall and curvy leggings. And these fit size 12 to like 16, 18 roughly, I would say. I've got size 22 hips, and those are the ones I wear, but they're a little bit snugger. Maury, you want the leggings? You got it. I think she came in first, right? I didn't see anybody get come out, come in at all besides her. Cool beans. All right, this is a blue t-shirt. Again, it's a 1X or an extra large. We'll just do this one as a $2 start. It is a navy top, and the, it's a cat skull. It's a skull made up of cats. Like cat heads and cat bodies. Tell me that's not the coolest shit you've ever seen in your life. What size is it? Uh, it's a 1X or an extra large. It's around there. It's so cute, though. I love it. And Jonathan, please behave. All right. You guys have been going on the same conversation for a while. Time to tuck that away. Talk about something positive, please. I got high bid with Julie in out four. And Carolyn, that includes you. More you can Carolyn. Miss Mary is out. Gina, are you here? Look at this shirt. That I'm here. Oh, kitties. Right? Billy's in a six. Good night, Jonathan. I just like to keep it positive, all right? Nothing against you. Good night, Jonathan. Me? What size is that? Oh, 1X? Yeah, it's a 1X or an extra large. I'm not 100% sure because it's like... That's super cute. It was my mom's, so... And she cuts all her tags out. She's great like that. 
Also, I didn't mean to take this many turns. Kind of forgot you were here because you're so quiet. That's okay. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'll just I'll finish showing up the clothes here and then um and then I'll let you go until you don't want to go anymore. No so good. Yep. Yeah. Cool I have a pumpkin now. And Gina does have a bunch of clothes to show as well, and she'll be showing them when me, her, and Laura do our big. We're doing a big collaboration, anything, everything auction. So yep. this Wednesday. Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. It's Wednesday, my dudes. That's also another meme. All right, who's got high bid? Who's taking home this cute cat shirt? Tell me. Who is it? Maury. Yeah, Maury. Maury. It's cute, but listen, you're going to get it and be like, this is the weirdest thing I've ever purchased in my life. <laughs> I hope you like it. All right, if everybody is... Oh, blah, blah, blah. Hi. If everybody else is out, then let's go. It does not flare out. It has a band like on the bottom. I don't know what those are called. Okay. And I'm sending your box out tomorrow. But I can just put you in a bigger box, and I think it'll be under 20 pounds in the same thing. So I'll just get you all out. Uh, Kara, I don't have any 3X in here, but I think I've got some out in the garage. I know I've got some 2X. I think I do. I think I've got, like, some 3 and 4X, actually. And there's some cute stuff from, like, Lane Bright and Torrid and things like that. Okay. Good night, Maria. All right. I'm going to show the rest here. So $2 start choice. Number one is Ramones. And this is a size 2, so this is a 2X. It says, hey, ho, let's go, NYC. This is probably from Torrid or something like that. My mom gets a lot of her clothes from there. It's either Torrid or Walmart. She's weird. I don't understand <laughs> I don't understand it. Mm. All right, this is by Reflex. It's a size 1X. It's more like an extra large. And it is a gray zip up jacket. And it says Love Love. Nice truckle gray. Full zip hoodie jacket with pockets. That one's number two. Number three is another Aeropostale tee. This one's an extra large as well. And it is Aerosurf Classic Riding Wave since 87. <laughs> so there's that guy. Number four, this is just an Iowa Wild shirt, which is our hockey. Um, it's a size large. I don't, I don't know why anybody would want this one, but maybe. <laughs> and then number five is an extra, extra large by Porto Cray or something. It's a super colorful swim cover up dress. Nice, bright, and colorful for that guy. That's number five. Uh, and then oh, I'll do two more here so number six is Star Wars it's a size men's medium and it is a gray Millennium Falcon t-shirt Falcon. and number seven is No Boundaries Extra Extra Large and it is a olive green sweater that ties in the front. What was the question? What size is five? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, that one is a size 2X. Or an extra, extra large, which is not technically a 2X, but it's quite close. All right. Let me get it all for me. Why do I have this song in my head? And it won't go away. What size was number seven? 
that's the last one? Yeah. Uh, that one's an extra, extra large as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, ow. My body. There's the tag up there. And then I'm a two to three X. And I don't think it would fit me. Mm, I can get it on, but it's going to be really tight. It's not stretchy. So anything that's not super stretchy, I'm usually a, a 3X on. But then it's like too big. I'm in a weird size. It's fine. All right. What do we got? Who's high bid? I was waiting till the end before I even started. Okay. So Patty Paws came in at two and then Julie came in at three and then Patty's out. So I think we got Julie in at three. That's high bid. Cool beans. What can I get you for, Julie? My Julie. I'm hoping my light is washing my face out so you can't see all the really bad texture. I'll just stay back here. Hi, Jules. Hi, Julie. One, two, and five. I love curling my hair. It's so fun. Awesome, Julie. Thank you, darling. So one, two, and five is gone. Miss Patty Paws, would you like anything that's remaining? One, two, and five. So one, two, three, four, five. Cool beans. Man, I love beans. They're so delicious. I think I had beans yesterday. Did I? I don't remember. <laughs> Three clothing. She said, pass. What was uh, three, four, and get it? <laughs> three is the arrow, extra large T. Four is the size large talkie, talkie shirt. Six is the size men's medium Millennium Falcon tee. I can't believe nobody wants that. It keeps surprising me. And then number seven was the double XL olive green sweater. Um, the Millennium Falcon and the the green two X sweater. I'll take those. They'll be okay. You want them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Since I still have to pay you for my stuff, just throw it on there. Okay. <sighs> Thank you. I'm trying to get the blue out. It, it Don't dye your hair blue. You want to know why? Because it never leaves. It will stay with you for the rest of your life. They all tried to warn me. They are all like, Miranda, don't dye your hair blue. You're never going to be able to get it out. And I was like, bro, it's literally non-permanent dye. What's the worst that could happen? This. This is the worst that could happen. I just have blue hair forever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. <laughs> All right. Um, I have some tarot and oracle decks. No, I didn't see Jules. Yes. Yep. Jules already sent. Yep. I sent that out last night. Yep, last night I did. I caught up on invoices, except for a couple people. But you were one that I invoiced. All right, I've got these are a $12 start choice. $12 start. They're tarot and oracle decks. First one is Everyday Witch Tarot deck. How much are they? $12 start choice. Number two is the Green Witch Tarot. Yeah. 
Those are really popular decks, by the way. And number three is an Oracle deck called Moonology. This is a 44 card deck. The energy of the moon has a formidable effect on our everyday life. Use these gorgeously illustrated Oracle cards to tap into her ancient wisdom for healing, guidance, and protection and learn how to work with her magical energy during each lunation. Oh, God. I'm sorry. That's really scary. Jeez Louise. Oh, it's okay, Jules. No rush. Terrifying. Cindy, yep, I saw that. Cindy, um, did you want to be shipped out right away? I still have to email some people that um, didn't let me know if they want their stuff shipped out right away or hold longer. How dare you guys? <laughs> I feel like I'm 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 harsh. Like I'll be rough with you guys, and then you think I'm serious. But I'm just kidding. Me and Elizabeth never. We can't get on the same path. I know you're kidding. <laughs> <sighs> Did I include the iron on? Kara, I haven't invoiced you for anything um, that you've gotten like in the last like week because I've got your stuff all boxed up. If you want me to like add everything together, I can, but you just have to tell me. These are both a full 78 card uh, tarot decks. Cindy Hold? Okay, cool. I'll make note of that. And Maury, um, do you want me to invoice you for tonight's stuff and then add it to the other stuff and then ship? Yeah, she wants her stuff invoiced and shipped uh, basically as soon as possible. Okay. Well, I know she wants invoiced as soon as possible, and I know she wants me to ship as soon as possible. I don't know if that's the same for everyone else. I'll let her speak for herself. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> All right, Lana, this is a this is a bidded item. You would have to come in at 13. Again, the highest bidder gets first choice. Yes, I get a lot of cool ones, Jules, that I'm not I'm not I can't part with these. These ones I just can't seem to part with. <laughs> Here, <laughs> I love crows, cats, and unicorns. <laughs> All right, Maury's high bid at 12. Lana, you'd have to come in at 13 if you want to um, bid with Maury. Okay, Kara. Is Lana lagging? Oh, she's out. Okay. All right. You can call it to Maury. Mm -hmm. Lana has gone in so much better. Oh, yes. As far as lagging. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. She's our little cutie. Yes, Jules, a unicorn duck. <laughs> I want the green witch one. Yeah, these two are known to be uh, really popular good decks. I really wanted to keep the everyday witch one, but... Lana, you went out and now you're coming in at 13. I'm oh, confused. <laughs> she double thought about it, man. Okay. I don't know. Maury said question mark. <laughs> Did Christy walk away again? Nope, she's right there. Oh. 
I have not. I'm looking right now at the tarot deck so I can see exactly what they look like, what the cards look like. Because, yeah, you have to get a feel for things before you get something. That's the everyday witch and then the green witch or something. Oh, God, no, that's not what I meant. Okay, hang on. And. All right, Maury's power bidding at 20. God damn it, Maury! <laughs> I don't know which one she wants, but I want the green one. <laughs> you have another one? I can get more. <laughs> oh, I don't have to wait. All right, Maury's in at 20. Uh, Lana and the rehomer. <laughs> You would have to come in at 21. Or are you ladies out? The rehomer. <laughs> the rehomer is out. <laughs> Maury's got that. She got that rich blood, man. My blood is like thin, thinner than water. It's like I, air. I can get more. I just. You know, if you have a request for one, I can I can get more. I'm gonna let you know I can't understand a word you're saying right now because my phone is making you sound crazy. So I love you, and what you're saying is probably really cool, but I don't know what it is. So, <laughs> Lana, are you out? That's the no. phone. All right, let's call it. <laughs> well, she didn't. She didn't. Oh, she did say out. All right, we're good. We're good. Maury doesn't live in Nevada, does she? Does she? Who? Maury. Maury's from Florida. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Nevada. Nevada. Sorry, Caps. Don't sorry for Caps. Call it. Maury, it's sold to you. What do you want? Which one do I want? I want the green witch one, but I can I can I can buy it myself. Here, you you let me buy. I'll buy the green witch one, and then you can get you can get the other ones. <laughs> That's a really weird smile. I can't can't I can't hold it like that. <laughs> hey, I can understand you now. What were you saying? Huh? Who? You? I put I put it in there in the chat. She, you, Gina said she can order more. Yeah, she can she can order me another one. Lori, no, it's okay. I can get more. Thank, thank you. Okay, well that's very sweet. I I have to be gracious. I'm being gracious. It's painful to accept gifts though. <laughs> And Maury wants the moon one. And the moonology. It can be my early birthday present. Thank wow. you very much. Thank you, Maury. Thank you. That was very sweet. My birthday is August 15th, if anyone's wondering. <laughs> <laughs> I still have the Everyday Witch, which is actually uh, a good deck. <laughs> oh, God, I'm eating my hair. I'm kidding. Please don't buy me gifts. It makes me feel weird. I love you, and I love it. And it's very sweet, but it makes me feel strange. Very sweet. I don't know how to accept gifts. <laughs> I'm weird like that. All right. My second item, um, I got these uh, Amazonite towers in. Did you? I did. <laughs> I need to go make a sandwich. I'm getting hangry. <laughs> I I didn't say anything about food. I said Amazonite. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm getting hangry. <laughs> I'm like, I'm ready to like strangle someone. <laughs> I'm like, say one wrong thing in the chat. It's going down. 
<laughs> no, I just need a sandwich. <laughs> She got Amazon night towers. They're 14 by it now choice. They kind of look like Caribbean calcite. So if you're a Caribbean calcite thingy. Yep, they're very, very similar. Kara, I got you. I know you want it added. We're good. I love you, Maury. They are blessings <laughs> in disguise. <laughs> Blessing in disguise. That just reminds me of the movie with Austin Powers or no, no, that something in disguise and he's the turtle and he's like turtle, turtle, turtle. And he moves his head. That guy. <laughs> That's what I grew up watching. <laughs> Whoever that dude is. That's cute. <laughs> he's like poking his head out. <laughs> What's that movie called? Masters in Disguise? I gotta go watch that. What's it on? <laughs> Thank you, Patty. Which one would you like? Just YouTube Dana Carvey, and you, there's a whole bunch of hilarious stuff that he's Master's done. Disguise. I hope it's on like Hulu or something, because I don't remember my Netflix password, and I'm not about to sign up for it like for a fifth time. <laughs> Wait, one sec. This is number one, and this is number two. <laughs> number one and number two. Number one has like more of the stuff going on in there, and then number two looks a little more solid. It's a difference. No worries, Kara. Has anyone else seen that movie? I feel like I'm by myself here. Patty wants number one. Go. Now, who wants number two? Good choice. I've seen that movie, too, yes. I love Dana Carvey. He's awesome. Thank you, Patty. <laughs> Just the, the neck motion. <laughs> Classic Saturday Night Live and him impersonating a woman. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Patty. I talk to my dogs a lot too. He ate like a, I think he ate a bone, and now I'm scared that he like cut his throat. So now I'm worried about that. Doctor, are you in here? I think it was like a pork chop bone. Oh no. And I don't think they're supposed to have pork bones because they can like splinter or whatever. Or maybe that's chicken bones. I don't really know. I still have cookbooks for a dollar. She has cookbooks. cookbooks. Who's hungry? <laughs> Low fat hey. living. Let's. I mean, I want to keep the fat just like Carol. Carol, we'll keep the fat together. Wine country. Okay. Thirty okay. meals in thirty minutes. Go get your sandwich, Miranda. You'll be more hungry after this. I don't want. Well, I don't want to leave yet. Dollar for the cookbooks, if anyone's interested. I got. I still have henna cones. Henna oh. cones for three dollars. I already got one, didn't I? Yep, you got one. No, give me another one. You sure? Yeah, I feel like my box doesn't like have anything in it. So let me let me get some okay. stuff. Let me let me take the rest of those cookbooks you showed too. I guess you know. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> If Andy doesn't want them, we'll just garage sale them. And if nobody wants them, then we'll take them to Goodwill. It's kind of how that works. All right. I'll, I'll bring them we'll back coffee. in a month <laughs> and show them on auction again. <laughs> Delicate. Right. And another henna cone. Because <laughs> uh, they can have hand bone. I, I'm pretty sure. That, I know they can't have like chicken legs. What do you have? Hmm? And she's got henna cones for three dollars. Henna cones, three dollars. You could have a henna party. Henna you party can make freckles friends. on your face yeah. with henna. Yes. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <That's what I'm> doing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I still got this cute little oh. thing here for eight dollars. I don't have any kids either. I just have two dogs, two cats, and eight snakes. Hey, you got any more blouses or purses, Gina? Um, I'm gonna be showing clothes on Wednesday when we're on Laura's channel. Wednesday at seven p.m. Eastern. I can try to look for more purses for that night. Uh, I don't have anything. 
around that's, that's jewelry etc that's yes. the world you don't know who that is <laughs> yes eight snakes it was like 15 at one point so you know we've gone down a little killed some got rid of some others yeah Yes, there's Laura's channel. Join us Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Hey, dogs! I don't know where they are. They don't want to be with me right now, apparently. I think I have a cat here, though. I missed you, too, Denise. Where you been? Kitty. <laughs> I still got this body illuminator for twelve. Retails for thirty-nine. Of course, yeah. I'll look for more. I I definitely have some more purses. I just gotta um. I just gotta get them out. Still have a Kambaba Jasper sphere for forty. Still have this beauty. Big Sphere for 40, Kumbaba Jasper. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hope everything's okay. Miranda, could you check Facebook Messenger, says Maury. Oh, I still have, I got a lot of towers left, so I still have this green fluorite. It does have purple in it, too, but this guy's 45. It's a big, chunky, round uh, tower, fluorite, for 45. Southern living or dessert? I'll take a look, Lana. I do have a lot more books, too, um, downstairs that I will eventually be going through. I'll try. I'll make note of that for uh, Wednesday. Clothes, purses, southern living, desserts. Uh, blue appetite tower. This guy's twenty-two, taller than uh, taller than average uh, tower. Twenty-two. Beautiful blue appetite. Hmm. Does anyone have an iPhone 11? I still have this black glitter case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember back to like the first time you showed that, and it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a long time, yeah. It's been a minute or two, or maybe ten. iPhone 11, and it's sparkly. It's brand new, sealed, never you know opened or used, and it's black and glittery, and it's an iPhone 11. <laughs> Case. Cindy and, said I want that. And I was asking four dollars last time I showed it. Four dollars. Lindy said, said that is huge. We must not be talking about the cell phone case. Oh, Cindy, do you want the blue appetite tower? I, I have, have an eleven. Left. She wants the phone case. Cindy, can you just Right, confirm that you want the phone case for um four dollars. Yeah, she says she has an eleven. Okay. We're good. We're good, girl. We're good. I don't know why I talked like that. It's totally fine though. <sighs> All right, we're going to the kitchen to make a sandwich. I promise I'll mute. I'm loud and annoying. You gotta tell me. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Cindy. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, Maury. I have no idea what my phone is. Oh, the Samsung. No, Maury. I it's still a, have a Note 8. It's a, my, it's a Galaxy something. 
in a galaxy far, far away. There was a girl who was hangry and going to the kitchen to make, you guessed it, a sandwich. Well, I mean, I can be done. No, 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 no. You can keep going. I took a while with the clothes, so. Oh my god, I have pizza in here. Heather, Cindy already nabbed the uh, case. It was just a $4. Uh, buy it now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know there would be more interest. <laughs> it's so weird. I've had it for like months. <laughs> It's forever, man. Thank you. I've got some other cases, but I don't know if I have an 11 case. I got these really pretty vintage, wavy, like, pro Bakelite uh, bracelets. The set is a $5 start. From the 70s. They're wavy and they sit inside of each other. Five dollars start. How much was the bracelet? Five dollars start. Okay, never mind. Cindy, you didn't want the phone case. You said yes. <laughs> you said yes. Okay, so you don't want the phone case. Okay, no problem. Heather, would you like the phone case for four? Just let me know. They're not Bakelite. They're 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 faux Bakelite. Yeah, faux Bakelite. Okay, I have you down, Heather. Thank you for the case. Oh, you said yes to the tower. Oh, I see. I didn't even ask about the tower, though. I didn't know. <laughs> I forgot to mention that it is a little uh, wobbly. It leans a little bit, and it's a little wobbly. Just uh, if that's okay with you, just confirm, and uh, it's yours for 22. Yes, Michelle, not real Bakelite. No, nope, not real Bakelite, but they're like an acrylic or a plastic from the 70s. Oh, uh, Lindsay, I don't think we're going to be on that much longer. I think this is uh, like our last round. It varies when we end. It changes up every time. So do I. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. I have you down for the appetite tower. Oh, that's cool, Jules. I think they're really cool. Michelle, are you still interested knowing that they're uh, not real Bakelite? Retracting bid. Okay. All right. So, Lana, you have the high bid at five. Lana, high bid at five. Hey. 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 I'm just singing songs. So, invoice Teresa for Heather's stuff. Got it. <laughs> Sweet. Invoice her for me, please. Okay, yes. Thank you. Just love that. Thank you, Heather. 
There is like a hair. Lana, Lana, you had high bid at five. Michelle retracted, so you still hold the high bid at five dollars. Yeah, boo. And we're about to call it to you. So you're about to win these for five dollars. Yes, boo. Get it. Oh, <laughs> You still want them, Lana? Pat, I showed a um, blue appetite tower that Cindy bought. Manners. Get down. Sit. Oh. <laughs> well, beauty. What is that blue tower you showed earlier, Gina? I just showed her. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Lana's still in. Okay. Yeah, so she does want the bangle. You know, Christy turns into a pumpkin at midnight. And it's twelve forty. She's gonna. She's gonna start rotting. Three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Lana's gonna. I'm surprised you stuck around so long with us tonight, Christy. I know I'm you're. Waiting get, I'm waiting to get something to eat after this. She's a trooper. Heather, do we ship your stuff to your mom too? Yeah, I'm gonna live next door. Okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna call it to uh, Lana. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know you were so close. Yeah, I remember Teresa saying that. She lives right next door. Wow. Crazy to be that close. Taste of home, like annuals and special editions. All right. I'll write that down, Carolyn, just in case. All right. Sold to Lana. <laughs> I see What's your call. Now. So it's a lamp. All right. Yeah, buddy. Uh oh. I can hear you, Tom. I still got this 31 uh, wristlet strap. For a dollar, if anyone's interested, you can hook it up to uh, one of their purses or a wallet. Dollar buy it now. Caramel Charm Pebble color. This warm brown. That's a dollar if anyone's interested. Heather. Thank you, Heather. That one is yours. Thank you. Oh, sorry, Michelle. Heather beat ya. Okay, um, I mean, I have tons, I have like two boxes of jewelry right in front of me. Does anyone want to see jewelry? I have silver plated uh, pendants still. These are $10 buy it now, $10 buy it now choice.
right, well, they're all not going to fit on here, but I will show you them. Here's number one. This looks like a uh, blue calcite. Number one, blue calcite. I'm pretty sure that is. Number two is a red moss agate. Red moss agate. Something we've never seen. <laughs> oh man. Carolyn, I have tons. I just, I don't even know what to grab. <laughs> Let me just show these. Moonstone. It does have flash. Um, it's hard to show in this light. But that's Moonstone, number three. Number four is this beautiful sodalite. Number five is this moss agate. And number six is like a combination of green and red moss agate. Really cool. So those are 10 if anyone's interested. Was, this, was it the sodalite? I can't remember what order they were in now. Was it the sodalite? Purple? <clears throat> nope, I didn't show anything purple. The sodalite is a blue. It's blue. Blue with, um, peach in there, peach and white. Ten dollars. They're brand new, silver plated, artisan made. Oh, good night, Heather. Thanks for hanging out with us. So Kara, just let me know if you're interested in that. It's ten dollars. I have a smaller soda light for eight if you're interested. It's blue again. These are blue, not purple. Soda light, that one's eight. That one's smaller. Oh, no problem. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, they're blue. <laughs> I'm sorry about my lighting. Uh, something you've never seen before. Okay. I mean, Hi, I have Cat. tons of costume jewelry. Hi, J Cat. This is a pretty necklace. How about this one? Dollar start. 
it's got like a shimmery, like teal green and gunmetal like silver colors. And they're light. I'm not sure what they're made out of, but it's really pretty. Sugar light? Nope. I don't. It's pretty though. Pretty stone. Oh, sure, J Cat. My email address is right there. Thank you. All right, Patty's in at one. It's very long. Um, there's no clasp. It's like really long. Did you get the J Cat once the Moonstone one and that she'll send you her info? All right, cool, cool, cool. I did, yep. Thank you. All right, if there's no other interest in that necklace, we can call it to Patty. Oh, acrylic. Um, I'm really not sure, Carolyn. Um, maybe it's really light. Like, for as long as this is, too, it's, like, super light. It's, a, it's like a teal green, Denise. Like a teal green. Blue green. But more leaning, leaning more on the green side of teal. And, like, silver, gunmetal colors. They almost look like they're hand painted. Like they look like splattered with like the three different colors. They're really cool. They're pretty. Super light, possibly acrylic. I don't I don't think they're wood. So yeah, they've got to be a plastic. No problem. All right, we can call it the Patty Paws. All right, sold the patty. <laughs> I'm not sure happened to Christy. Good night, Mari. Oh, good night, Sugar Plum. Good night, Sugar Plum. Thank you, Patty. Let's see. This is pretty. Does have a little wear at the clasp. Gold tone, little wear at the clasp. Dollar buy it now if anyone wants it. Dollar buy it now. Got like acrylic roses. Gold tone. 
and just some wear at the clasp. Tell her buy it now. Patty came in first. Thank you, Patty. Can you show your information? I want to make sure I got it right. Yes. It's Spunky Meow at Yahoo. Spunky Meow. Thank you, Patty. That one's yours. It's like one o'clock in the morning. Are you still going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You told me to just keep going while you're eating. <laughs> well, I'm eating dessert now. You can just go until you don't want to go anymore. Good night, Jules. Okay. Bye. Good night, Jules. Alright, dollar buy it now. Silver tone black chain skeleton key. Silver tone skeleton key, and it feels like a fake, like you know, like a replicated skeleton key, but it's still pretty cool. Dollar buy it now if anyone's interested. Patty Paws. Thank you. Thank you, Patty. All right, let me check my email. Jcat. I got it. Thank you very much. We're all set. Thank you. Yes, Patty is quick. <laughs> Let's see. Some of the stuff I haven't even looked at yet, but all right. Dollar buy it now. Pink and orange necklace. Has a little wear. It's a little wear on the uh Clasp, it looks like. Patty. Thank you, Patty. Here's a necklace, a green necklace. It looks like painted shell. First person to type in green can have it for a dollar. If they want any interest. It's really vibrant. All right, Kara. Kara typed green. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to change it up. Thank you, Kara. All right, this one's really pretty. 
has a really vintage look, but I'm not sure if it is or not. It has a lobster clasp, gold tone hardware. Is it missing one? Oh, never mind. It's missing a thing at the bottom. I'll put that in a craft lot. Leanna, if you want that for a dollar, you can have it. I was going to put it in a um, craft lot because it's broken. It's missing a piece. You want it for a dollar? Leanna? See, it's missing a piece there. I was going to ask like a few dollars for it if it was good, but it's not. It's missing a piece. It's sparkly too. It's really pretty. The green has like sparkliness in it. Just let me know if you want that for a dollar. Oh, okay, Lana, you're attracted. Okay, I'm going to throw that in a craft lot. I don't want to sell it because it's broken. Um, let's see. Peace sign pendant feels like it almost feels like it could be stone, but I don't think it is. I'm not sure what it's made out of, but um, a dollar, buy it now. For peace sign pendant, if there's any interest. Liana, yes, it has a piece missing. Yep. All right, J Cat. Thank you, J-Cat. Patty, you can have the last necklace, sure. Green necklace with sparkles. For a dollar. Thank you, Patty. Yep, that one's yours. Thank you. That has a lot of potential to, like, the harvest those They're really pretty. Thank you, J-Cat. No problem. Thank you, Patty. Oh, that's right. I had this as a lot. This was a wooden jewelry lot. And I can start this at $2. $2 for a wooden jewelry lot. $2 for the lot. You get a wooden bracelet with like this Asian Get what you call those dangling off of it stretchy stretchy wooden bracelet another stretchy wooden bracelet with a tassel a wooden necklace stretchy another wooden stretchy bracelet with rose beads on it another wooden necklace this one has a clasp not stretchy and a stretchy wooden necklace. So a whole lot, just two dollars start. Jewels, yes, that would be so pretty. For these as earrings. Wait till you see it in person. It's so sparkly and pretty. Look at that. Oh. Let me know seriously if you make earrings with those, because I would buy it there.
Lana's in it too. Thank you, Lana. Some things are good for journaling. Oh. All right. If there's no other interests, uh, I can just say this is sold to Lana for two bucks. Where'd Miranda go? She fell out. Oh. I thought you fell asleep. <laughs> I had to get me a salad or something, so I'm eating while I'm watching. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Lana. I'm a pumpkin eating a salad. <laughs> Thank you. All right, these, these are really pretty earrings here. They're uh, silver tone, they have a very boho look to them. Really pretty. Someone wants these for a dollar. Um, put one. Buy it now. They're really lightweight. Is it a buy it now or is it just to start? Just to buy it now for a dollar. They're so pretty. Ah, uh, Michelle P. Thank you, Michelle. Michelle, sold to Michelle. Man, they were fish hooks. They definitely had that boho look to the costume. Yes, love them. These are funky. <laughs> These are earrings. <laughs> 50 cents? 50 cents, buy it now? <laughs> there is some like discoloration around the sides. That could be cool to do something with craft wise. Anyone want to see these for 50 cents? Just put 50.
I think Lana got the earring. Oh, cool. Thank you, Lana. Try to keep a straight face when you show how beautiful they are. <laughs> No, you know, my eyes are, my light is so bright tonight. It's just really like blinding me. It was making my eyes like water earlier. Thank you, Lana. Those for you. Manhole covers. <laughs> All right, this is a two dollar buy it now. Two dollar buy it now. It was uh, sold at Target for sixteen ninety nine. It's a choker. And it does have an extender, so it's adjustable. It's just a black, like faux suede choker with a a dangle and like these gold tone balls at the end. Two dollar buy it now. Anyone's interested? How long has Miranda been gone for? Isn't this a little odd? Sold to Lana. Thank you, Lana. Right? Like, if she had to restart something, I feel like she would have been back by now. Cool. Thanks, Lana. Dangly bits. This is very pretty. This is a gold tone necklace. <laughs> I don't have her number and she's not answering um, Facebook Messenger. Hmm. Sorry, my phone crashed. There you are. <laughs> like that was unusually long. <laughs> Is everything okay? Just your phone? Yeah, it just crashed. Okay. All right, this can be the last thing I show. <laughs> are you showing any more tonight? No, I'm done. Okay. All oh, right, Elizabeth, I emailed you back. <laughs> Two dollar buy it now if anyone's interested in this really pretty gold tone, uh, vintage looking necklace with like gemmy, jewel toned acrylic beads. And faux pearls with these really pretty bead caps. Patty Paws. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, everyone. All right, that was my last item. Thank you guys so much.
All right. Thank you guys so much for being here. Make sure to hit that thumbs up on the way out. I'll be back tomorrow night with Miss Cha-Cha, the Junking Data Girl. And uh, see you then. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.